I'm ready. Height Y70. I don't know. Let me look. Let me look. Height what Here, let me get in my queue. Y7. Okay. Uh, yes, I think that is it. Yes, this, this, this is the kit. This is it. That's it. That's it. Eh. Fancy. <clears throat> Adam, good morning. We're talking about upgrading computers and Instagram and TikTok girlies and Oh my Lala Fell's my oh I forgot I logged out in the inn. <laughs> I was adding stuff to my um glamour dresser because look, look what I did. I added it. Ooh. I added this to my glamour dresser. <gasps> wow! And I also added this too. But I need to dye it, but I don't know what color to dye it. Um, I'm level 100! <laughs> I joined the 100 squad! <laughs> uh, I was fate grinding last night. Where am I at in that? Oh, oh, I... Oh, halfway. Halfway! But I was working on this. Fancy schmancy, I know, right? I'm too broke to even think about computer upgrading. Well, yeah, I know. That's why I said I was gonna. You're gonna have to lose the helmets. No scalp, no service. Thanks, up. <laughs> Zang. <laughs> I can't talk. Thanks, Zang. We have 53 months. Appreciate you. Um, I need to save money if I'm gonna do that, Adam. I was just talking to talk. <laughs> I'm just a yapper, as the Gen Z would call me, I guess. Look at this. Look at this. Look at but then if you're out here, you can be like, hi, neighbor. If you go over here, you can be like, oh, oh no, they definitely make it private. 100 gang, yeah. Wait till you see, wait, you're seeing the kings. What? Our favorite online yapper. I yap too much, but that's okay. Um, question. Oh my God, there was a retainer in here the whole time. <laughs> um, what do y'all do about like outfits for your retainers because god dang it this is i don't have glamour for guys <laughs> look at my retainer <laughs> oh gosh that's rough um i need to figure out an outfit for him <laughs> does he have any money for me you do rich Y'all don't care about what your retainers look like? Caitlin, you can go do better. Go make me more money. Go back on. <laughs> My sister does, still doesn't know. Um, <clears throat> Kylie learning Gen Z alpha lingo. It's like part of TikTok, I feel. I learned so much about the younger generation. <laughs> <laughs> in my own. I just close my eyes personally. <laughs> my retainers get my old gear and whatever glamour is applied to it at the time. Yeah, see, that makes sense. But like, yeah, I get, yeah. One of my retainers is still in haul. Oh, I want the squirrel outfit. The squirrel outfit is definitely gonna go on my retainer. That's it. But I have to I have to get there. Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet, but he's gonna be a squirrel. He's gonna be a proud squirrel. Where am I going? Where do I have to go? Scale of trust. Oh, right. Okay. Did y'all 
Did y'all notice that this area in Mamuk, it looks like the macadamia woods. <laughs> um, how, how do you say the woods in Final Fantasy X? Macalamia? Macadamia? Whatever. Anyways, uh, look! Doesn't it look like the woods in Final Fantasy X? Doesn't it? There's like one area by the lake. Is this the area? No, this is not it. But doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, also, I figured out something. Okay, sorry, we're going everywhere. I figured out something that y'all are going to be jealous of. Or maybe you won't. But it's a cool little thing. So if you go to the watch, what is it? Watchun Pelo, the pe Pelu Pelu area, the Pelu Pelu people. There's a certain house down here that only Lollafells can go into. Even though the door is big enough for majority of people. Like, look, look at this. I'm inside! But nobody else besides Lollafells can go inside. But this is the, this is the house. Sucks to not be a lolafell. My retainers. Oh wait, I read that. Put them kids in daycare and get to work. <laughs> Adam! Not me over here checking to see if I can name a retainer Miss Kylie. Hey, you could do it. Did you see the mount I got? No, Capybara. People do say the expansion is based around Final Fantasy X and XI, but I thought the expansion was based off Final Fantasy IX. Alright, anyways, back to Mamook. Macalania. I feel like Macadimia is still good too. People knew what I meant. And that's... Hog. Um, it's spoil tagged in the Final Fantasy chat above my crafter picture and it's taken in the first stone so it's not an actual spoiler. What is it? Ooh, that's cool. Do you get that from the trial? Whatever it's based off of, I hope the next expansion has readable names. What do you mean? Readable names. Oh, also, oh my god, I learned yesterday my graphics weren't looking as good. And it's because I had this on AMD FSR. <laughs> when, I, when I switched from this to this, I was like, whoa! And it looks, it looks so much better. Um, I also changed a bunch of stuff. What are these exclamation points? Um, but yeah, now my game looks better. Uh, I just tag any DT pick as spoiler right now. Ah, uh, it's probably a smart idea. I do that, I, I like to do that anyways, because you never know who's going to be like, how dare you. You know, but fair. I don't want to be spoiled either. <laughs> what do you mean? Fn yok yok come up in the zones of twenty takes offense to that. <laughs> oh, pronounceable. Oh yeah. I feel like the hardest name to date in this expansion has been her dad, and not Galul Jaja, the other guy. <laughs> um, spoiler. Um. Okay, so I'm on the level ninety four. Is this level 94? I'm on level 94. We just got a scale from... Okay, couple things. Spoiler. Uh, I'm level 94 MSQ, so whatever. Um, we, we got to... What is this area called? Ik... Eek brush. We did that. We did that area. We met her real dad. That made me tear up. <laughs> ah! 
that made me tear up. That scene, it made me tear up and probably, it wasn't even probably that sad, but I started tearing up because I was like, oh my god, what he did for his daughter. Um, but I'm also a little mad by it because I was like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, anyways, 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 met her dad and we were supposed to keep it a secret and we did keep it a secret. However, um, Bakul Jaja did not. He found out and he basically spoiled, spilled the beans and that was a whole mess. Um, and then <laughs> after all of that and what happened, now we got to Mamook and oh my god! Oh my god, this the the scene with Bakul Jaja and and explaining how blessed sibling or blessed offspring what are they called? Offspring? Whatever. The blessed people, the people with the two heads, how they're created. Oh my god. We literally just finished that cutscene and Jeez. <laughs> Like, you can't hate anybody in this game! <laughs> Bless siblings, yes. But... Yeah, so I'm very interested, interested to see how this part's gonna go. And there's a lot of people online thirsting for Bakul Jaja. Did y'all know that? Um, little known fact. Um, but anyways, he was super mean, and but he apologized, and... And obviously we can't 100% forgive him, but uh, that scene was very upsetting. <laughs> but anyways, he gave us a scale. I'm just doing like a recap to what's happened. But yeah, now we have to go around and get all these people to like me because we have his scale. And we basically are, he wants to stop the blessed siblings from being a thing. And now we've got to convince everybody here to make that be a reality. So we'll see how that goes. Any questions? I love discovering this area. I should probably have been reading quest text, huh? Uh, yeah. Did I just spoil it for you, Adam? I am so sorry. I ran into the Twitter account yesterday. Um, it is pretty dark. Wait, wait what Twitter account? Dude, release an apocalypse dragon. I'm still working on forgiving him. <laughs> I know, right? Like, where he's not 100% forgiven, but, like, he's trying to do better, and that's, like, the right step, right? So you can't... You know? It's like we gotta meet him halfway kind of thing, you know? You know what I mean? But cool, Jaja's... Who? Baby girl. She renamed her in-game character to that? No... Are you kidding me? Somebody named somebody named themselves B B cool Jaja's baby girl. No, I am not kidding. <laughs> Wait, I know who you're talking about. Just kidding. I know who you're talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about. All right, let's uh, <clears throat> focus. Scale of trust. Time to get down to business, guys. We haven't a moment to lose. According to Mila Ja, which is his mom, who's such a sweetheart, uh, Mox Tural Zuj is an abandoned settlement northwest of the city. It should afford us the privacy we require. We must work quickly, lest Zuriel Ja, the evil dad, discover our intentions. Fortunately, Bakul Ja Ja thought to give us additional scale, so we might cover more ground in less time. When he pulled that scale off, though, it sounded like it hurt. <laughs> Everyone should take one and get going. And he gave us multiple. Use them to gather as many people as you can. Hi, Nelso. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Miss, let's trace, retrace our steps. Maybe this time we can uh, convince folks to lend an ear. Yeah, maybe now they'll talk to us. They'll actually talk with us. Where do I have to go? Who? Here? This area? This area is... This area? This area is the... the Okay. Alright. Sounds good to me. 
if y'all were required to live somewhere in the Final Fantasy 14 areas where you had, you can only choose one area, where would you want to live? Um, just letting y'all know, I only have Yachtel, Kazuma, and Urko Pacha until you unlock, so. <laughs> but other than those, spoiler area, darn it, no other expansion areas? Like, Il Meg, I would want to live there. Though my allergies would be freaking going crazy. Also, I have no idea where I'm going. Where is this person? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are they in here? Oh, they're in here. Oh, this is the merchant. He'll talk to us now, right? Right? The moon? Where would I want to live? I do this with every game I play. <laughs> do you have your answer? Uh, did I not tell you? To or... I probably would still really like Limza. I think the vibe in Limza Lumensa is peak. So, I'm having a hard time remembering everywhere. Just look on your travel list. Did I not? Did I not tell you to move along? I can't be seen talking to with the likes of you. Here is a scale. A blessed scale in an outsider's hands. What business do you have with me? So Bakula Jaja sent you to call an assembly. I am not sure what to make of this, but I shall go to Mok... Oh, we're not in Moksutrajus. Okay, at once. Okay, we're telling people to go there. Right. Duh. I don't know where that is, though. But we'll find out. All right. One person done. Wow, he listened. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Who's this other person that has to... Oh, they're in there. God bless these little windows. Belligerent Bunewa. Look at the scale. Isn't it neat? That scale, if the blessed trusts you, then so will I. So what is it you require of me? See, so easy. Wow. Bukul Jaja bids us come to Moksu Tural Zhuzh. Zhuzh. A strange place for an assembly, but very well. I will not refuse he who fights for our dreams. <sighs> Whichever zone has toilets and air conditioning. The world is your toilet, Adam. What are you talking about? Also, I've never seen anybody use the restroom in Final Fantasy. I don't think they poop or pee. It's a fantasy after all. Um, <laughs> I live in Heavensward because my favorite NPC lives there. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> That's the ultimate fantasy, isn't it? <laughs> I guess so. Have, imagine, like, people with, like, I don't know, like, IBS and stuff. Like, that would be a fantasy world, best world ever. Don't have to worry about going to the bathroom, man. Your stomach never hurts. 10 out of 10. I guess WoW has one up, one has one up on Final Fantasy since we have poop quest. You do? Put that on a t-shirt and send it to her. <laughs> the world is your toilet. If I had no tummy aches, I could travel the entire world. I know, right? You want poop tax? It's great. Um, wait. So does Final Fantasy 14? Wait, it does? I haven't done enough. Is it a side quest? <laughs> Sub goal, Kylie wears the Toilet World t-shirt for an entire stream. <laughs> I'd do it. Have you managed to gather some of the good folks? I have. There is Evan? Oh no. Wonderful. The esteemed Bakula Jaja will be pleased. This fellow here will be coming to Moksu Taraju's as well. Gotcha. Apparently there's a Nijul nursery to nursery to the west called Gol Magic Grove. Could go see could could you go and see who you can talk 
Oh my god, I can't. Ugh. Could you go and see who you can talk to there as well? Goal Munchie. I'll meet you at the Jews after. There's just one more person I need to find. Okay. Got it. You're the quest giver at this point, Adam. <laughs> um, where? Who? I have to go to the nursery? Nursery as in like babies? Good morning. Are y'all having a good Tuesday? Working maybe? Who's working right now? Who's at work, I guess I should say. Don't worry, I won't tell your boss. Not that I think you would get in trouble because you're your own person. But you know what I mean. Wee! What is this? Oh, it's a banana nerd. Oh, look at these bananas! Would y'all eat one? I'd eat one. Wow! Colorful bananas! Wow, there's a lot of bananas here. Oh, some of them have, some of them don't. Oh, that's what they mean by the nursery. Maybe banana nursery. Baby bananas! Who should be working? <laughs> Meeting. Hi, PJ. Happy Tuesday. I'm in the office by myself. Wait, that's nice. Or maybe you think it's... Is that nice? I think that would be nice. Do you think the fruit is colorful too or just the peel? Just the peel. Maybe. It looks like the it looks like the umbrella. Leave this place, outsider. Scale. Look at my scale. Oh, my apologies. I was unaware. I thank you, blessed scale bearer, for bringing me word of this gathering. I shall away to Moksu Turalju at once. I'm actually pretty productive lately. Knocked out quite a few new projects. A fruit project. Good job, Lulu. Good job. Proud of you. I watch anime all day on Wednesdays in the office. What anime have you been watching? Are y'all gonna watch the anime I'm talking about? Y'all need to watch it so I can talk about it. It's called, I think it's more, it's like a, I don't know. I don't know what kind of anime you guys enjoy watching, but I like it. It's cute as heck. I like the main character. Z um... Apothecary Diaries. Y'all need to watch it. Okay, so are we heading to the... Are we... He oh, we are! We're, he we're heading there. Okay, okay, okay. Moksu Tural Zhuzh. A Zhuzhu. A hole! Deep hole. Alright. Everybody's here. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Let's find out. Cutscene time! Probably... I'm gonna pause my alerts. Is it too quiet, by the way? It is. Hold on. Let me turn it up. Oh, just kidding. It's like all the way up. What the heck? Oh, okay, I have to talk. It's fine. What the heck, why is my... Sound messed up though. Cricket noise is just right. Good. Where's Walk Lament? Walk Lament. She brought Kona. Sorry to keep you waiting. You invited the second promise as well? Lama T, need I remind you that this right is a competition? Whatever advantage you're about to share with me, you ought to utilize to your own benefit. I have barely made headway in communicating with the locals. At this rate, you lead the race to the Golden City. You led the race. 
I need your help. To complete the feat? No, no. Mamook has a problem I can't solve on my own, and you're the most clever person I know. So sweet! Just do Master Volume 100. Well, it's not that. It's normally... So normally I turn down Final Fantasy this way. Because every time I try to... It doesn't work with my game thing. But anyways, usually this is at like 20 or 30. But now it's at like full volume. But it's not full volume. Anyways, I want you to hear the people firsthand so that we might come up with a way to help them. He's like, naturally. Very well, I'm at your disposal. Everyone, thank you for gathering on such short notice. I am welcome at Third Promise of Tuliolo. They're listening! Promise? I thought you served Bakul Jaja. Jaja ja, ja. You deceived us? No, they did not. <gasps> He's here. Yeah, I feel like the only way they would have got gotten people to listen is if he actually showed up. So, good. Good. The scales they showed you were mine. I entrusted them to the third promise and her retinue. Why honor these outsiders so? Because Walk Lamat has won my trust. Now you will hear her words. That's right! They're listening. But Cool Jaja shared with me the truth about blessed siblings, about the price you pay to conceive them. As an outsider to your community, it is not my place to judge you or your culture. Culture is born of experiences of its people, of their lives and their land. But it breaks my heart to know that yours has brought you all so much suffering. If any here wish to break from the cycle of tragedy that creating blessed siblings demands, I ask that you join us. Please, I don't want any more of our children to die. You think we want this? We have no choice. Our only blessed siblings can liberate us from our suffering. Without them, we have nothing. That remains to be seen. Speak with the third promise. Share with her your worries and your pain, and together we may find a new way forward. Like, oh, I didn't think about that. Together? If she is trustworthy, then I will speak with her. It would be best if you withdrew, my son. Many cannot yet speak freely if in your presence. Really? Let's keep an eye out for Zerilja. He wouldn't take kindly to this sort of gathering. <laughs> there you go. Less people. That's better, too. Once we understand everyone's concerns, we'll be better equipped to help them. Let's make sure they feel heard. Cute. <laughs> I'm doing homework today, though it's still pretty, early, still pretty early in the day, so I'm technically flopped on my bed being lazy. What kind of homework is it? I'm curious. Training arc of De Demon Slayer. I need to watch the new stuff for Demon Slayer. I haven't watched it yet. <sighs> Delicious in Dungeon. Is it good? I started watching Dagashi Kashi. What's that? 
I suggested Queen of Tears from a friend. She texted me at 1 a.m. and said, What is this show? Wait, in a good way? Because she's like addicted to it? Um, master volume. I'd rather not type the command that way. Um, master volume set to 79. It's just so weird that this is... It's like capping, which is so weird. Uh... Does it sound okay to y'all? She... She liked it, so I can't stop watching it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Tell her to watch my demon next. To be honest, though, my demon didn't hook me until, like, mm, two, three episodes in, though. Tell her to give it two or three episodes, but... So good. If she, if you or her want any other Korean drama recommendations, you know who to ask, Lulu. Me. I have no idea why Final Fantasy is being weird. Oh, well, as long as it's not too loud. Or loud enough. I'm glad Kona agreed to help us. He's always been good at solving pro complicated problems. Me? Not so much. But I'll support Mamook's people however I can. By combining our respective strengths, we'll help them discover a new source of hope. I hope- I know we will. Uh... Alright, what next? Mamook speaks. Rust Red. Alright, before we start, let's make sure we're remembering our history correctly. The Mulja and Jabral fought for centuries over the land and the upper forest, but due to infighting, the Mulja forces struggled to make significant gains. In order to promote cooperation, the Hubigo and Buniwa clans intermarried, and that's how blessed siblings were first conceived. With that in mind, let's talk to the people and learn why they rely on blessed siblings. Yeah, good idea. Let's talk to this merchant first. This land was once rich with ore, but the Yaqui did not stop digging until all the veins were spent. The meteorites are also good for so much, or only good for so much. Even if we made our t uh, made over tours to traders, we have little to offer. Nothing would make me happier than to make a good life for my family in the place where I was born, but that's impossible. So with resources as sparse as they are, you don't have good prospects for trade. Hmm. Even the bananas? Hmm. Those who have known only open skies and bountiful land cannot comprehend our plight. To thrive, we must take what we lack by force, and for that we need... The might of blessed siblings. There have to be other ways to thrive. Ways that don't require fighting. Grove worker. As, you, as you'll have noticed, this forest is very dark. Hardly any sunlight makes it, makes it through the canopy. So it feels like it's always night. We plow, we fertilize, we irrigate. Yet our crops shriv shrivel and die as though cursed. The only one that grows well is Najul, Jatika Banana, and Tarali. Try living on that and little else for a few centuries and see how you like it. That is a lot of bananas. <laughs> a forest where nothing grows. It's not hard to imagine why you'd want to leave. Can we create their own son? He's, he's a smart crack cookie. Cracker cookie. Maybe he can think of something that'll make their make make crops grow when there's no sun there's gotta be a way blessed siblings promise us more than strength they promise us the sun this forest is dark and is inhospitable when given the opportunity to live in tuliolo most of our people didn't think twice still the prospect of being among so many outsiders was intimidating enough to keep many of us here Blessed siblings are meant to deliver us from this accursed forest to lead us to the fertile land above where we might make a place for Mamulja to abide in peace and plenty. 
So it sounds like they don't want to stay here. Can we just find an area where they can live? So you desire, desire fertile land, one that's all your own. I mean, that seems fair, but there's got to be a way. Cute! <laughs> what is Phoenix Wright? What is, what is that? Why does that sound familiar? What is that? Um, well, I think I'm starting to understand. Everyone had their own perspective, but all their concerns were about the forest itself. Dark and fertile, cursed. Hearing that is little wonder that people here wish they had better land. And who better to get it for them than blessed siblings? It's hard to convince people to stay in a place that can't provide what they need. You'd think the meteorites at least would have value, but apparently not. Hold on, didn't Aaron Bell mention something about the meteorites? That the ether they emit makes the plants glow blue? A rather significant psych physiological effect, I would say, if we were to study these meteorites, we might discover other ways they influence local flora. I noticed a curious amul amalgam of tree and meteorite just south of here determining precisely how they interact with one another may yield crucial insights <gasps> use the meteorites to make fertile land got it knew it everyone i really appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us thanks for to your insights we have a promising idea already we just need a moment to investigate it further so please bear with us we'll be right back I find it strange, the mamulja, I guess they're just, when you're stuck in your ways, you're stuck in your ways, it's hard to see improvement, or want to improve, when you, when you feel so, I don't know, not down in the dumps, you know what I mean, like, why didn't they think about this earlier, but you can't judge them, maybe they didn't know, it's kind of hard to know, I would have known anything about a meteorite, Oh, Ace Attorney. I've hear I've been hearing so much about it. About that game. How is it? Is it fun? What's it like? Is it like Nancy Drew? Kind of. All right, um, where? Here? Oh, here, 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 here. Yeah, look, it made the tree look cool. It really is incredible how a tree could support such an enormous boulder. The meteorite's etheric emissions are palpable even from this distance. Saying this again makes me feel more confident in sharing a theory of mine. I suspect that only plants with an etheric affinity to these meteorites can thrive in this forest. If so, the gargantuan trees that create the dense canopy would by necessity possess the same affinity as well as the aforementioned jewel tree. Indeed, I would like to analyze samples of meteorite before drawing any definitive conclusions, however. I carry with me a few devices that will aid in this endeavor, but perhaps you and Kryle could lend your expertise as well. Yeah. I'd like to join you. The etheric signature of those meteorites may be crucial in determining what manner of species might fare well here. I think I'm gonna, after this cutscene, I'm gonna restart Final Fantasy because I feel like the volume thing being messed up is, it's annoying me. Ah, I think I see what you're getting at. If we can prove to them the cursed fourth isn't quite so cursed, maybe the people won't feel like blessed siblings are their only solution. So how can I help? Want me to climb the tree and break off a piece of meteorite for you? There are plenty of fragments on the ground already. It should be enough for our purpose if we gather about five pieces each. Even better if those fragments are gathered from disparate locations. I will collect your pieces once you have them. Time to collect pieces. But let me like restart my game. 
Culturally, I can kind of understand where they're coming from, but when, when it costs a bunch of lives to build super baby, babies, I think you need to take a step back and reflect on your culture. Yeah, right? But maybe then it's just, I don't know. Like, why didn't you think about taking a step back earlier? You know, like how many centuries did they say they've been doing the blessed siblings? A long time, right? Your setup look is so cozy looking. Thanks, Frank! Hold on, I need to restart my game because I think my my audio is bugged. It could be my OBS though. We'll, well, let me find out. Phoenix Wright games are fun. Split into investigation sections and courtroom trial sections typically and you solve murders and stuff. That sounds cool. Um, Final Fantasy. Here, let me see if doing this is gonna fix it. Please fix it. It's bothering me. It's bothering me because I can't tell. Like, I can turn it up on my end. But I can't actually turn it up on y'all's end. They use the brute force method. Yeah. Okay, hold on, let me see if this is better. What the heck, what is that? Oh, it fixed. It fixed. It fi oh, let me turn this down. Gone. It fixed it! There we go. Fixed! I have to always, ah, it's so loud. <laughs> it's because I had to turn it up all the way up. Okay. Okay, this is better. Okay, let me turn it up about here. Fixed, 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 fixed it. Nothing like a good uh, off and on situation to fix technological problems. But when a super baby literally leads the nation, no, like I get it, I get it. They feel like that's the only thing they can do. But I'm happy that we're here to make them realize actually, you don't need to create giant super mutants. As cool as they are, Kugulu Jaja has my heart, right? Such a good dad, but not necessary. <laughs> not necessary. How has your Tuesday been so far? Amazing. Amazing. How has your Tuesday been? Does that mean down? That means down. Wee! Is it better now? It's a little bit louder now, right? Hard to not want more super babies when the super baby king is the best ever. It's true. I mean, they can still do it, but... Like, it shouldn't be, like, the only thing that makes their people's people thrive, right? Um, also, how sad, right? To, to know, like, they said, like, one in a hundred babies, right? That's a lot of dead babies. Uh, to put it really simply. Uh, like, I wouldn't want to go through that. I'm sure they wouldn't. They don't. Well, it's clear they don't. <laughs> Ooh, it's green. I heard that crunch on the Lala knees. What knees? Hey, we have knees. They're in there somewhere. <laughs> Hiding behind my leggings. Uh... I love this area. Like, look how pretty this is. Uh, do y'all just stop and be like, ah, with the music? I love it. Who sings this part? How cool. I was watching Phantom of the Opera last night. <laughs> um, well, I don't know where I'm looking. I always get so uh, just amazed with singers and what they can do with their voices, man. Am I done in this area? 
this red circle's not gone, so I imagine there's one more I need to get. Oh, here. Found it. Really hidden. But like, opera singers? If I took a passion of wanting to become an opera singer, would y'all listen to me opera sing in a horrible way? Because obviously I wouldn't be good at the beginning. Also, how do you even do that? Are there opera singing lessons? <laughs> I know that's so weird, but I think it'd be awesome. <laughs> awesome. Weird. Oh, here. Yoshi P. This isn't Yoshi P singing. When you jumped, you heard the crunch. <laughs> Hi, XPS. Good morning. Insanity loves company. What? You'd listen to Kylie Opera? Okay, good. It'd be horrible at the beginning at least. Or maybe always, but you know, I don't know. Some people are just born with like amazing voices, right? And then also born with people that build it up after years. As long as it's not you eating. <laughs> Shut up, Evan. Did you find your fragments? Ancient meteor shower. <laughs> Absolutely not, dang. <laughs> Reforge. Much obliged. Alpha no Carl and I will combine the gathered samples and conduct an analysis forthwith. Determining the wavelength may take a little while, but I'm hopeful that our efforts will bear fruit. Wavelength. I'll tell my sister to await our arrival at Moxutural Juj. So go and meet her there. We will return with our results as soon as possible. Bunch of science smarty pants. Right. How do I get out of here? How do I get up and out? Why? I can't fly yet. Um is this the Okay here. Whee! Could you imagine making that phone call as a 30-something year old? Hi, yes. Do you do opera singing lessons? I'd like to learn, please. Yes, that's right. Um, just be a hobby opera singer. <laughs> I'm sure they get... What's that? Wow. Branch bear. Um, I'm sure they get more weird calls like right or do they only take young people like do you have to like be like a child to be like all right opera lessons for you like what age do you start opera singing college high school maybe i actually don't know <laughs> Somebody do research, let me know. Uh, have you ever saw, are you a very good singer? No. Um, have you tried opera singing before? No. Why do you want to? For fun. Sold. College opera course? What? <laughs> As a wife of a musician, I'd bet they'd just be happy to have someone pay for them for lessons. I mean, it's worth the money, right? If you're wanting to learn anything, any valuable expertise slash advice is worthy of payment. I had friends that started their opera pass in high school. What? You have, fan you have friends that went into the opera singing? 30-year-old cat 30-year-old cash hits the bank just the same as the other cash. <laughs> True. We've done all we can. The rest we must leave to Kona and the others. 
I don't know the first thing about those Charlian devices of his, but if they can be of help to Mamook, I'm glad he has them. I'll turn it down just a little bit more. Uh, there's hope for this forest yet, miss. I can feel it. I can feel it. I kept hearing fireworks last night. <laughs> They're not done. The feet of the Brotherhood. Oh, here we go. I'm sure Zerilja would have choice words for us if he knew what we were up to. But his people are my people, and I can't ignore their plight. If I'm to call myself Dawn Servant one day, I have to bring an end to the tragedy here. Many are depending on me, but cool Zerilja, not least of all. Anyway, I'm sure Kona and the others will be back with their report soon. Really, Adam? We laughed in a friendly way at their opera singing choices in high school, but they're the ones laughing now. Really? Ooh. That's so cool. Oh, thanks, Edwarden. I do need to go get more water in a little bit. Almost empty. Alright. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Everyone is assembled. In light of our news, I thought it only right to call the others. How much more expensive do y'all think this game would cost if everything was fully voice acted? At least for the main story. Like these parts. Thanks to the efforts of all, I'm pleased to say our analysis has yielded many valuable insights. And I dare say the prognosis is hopeful. Earlier we asked about the hopes you place in blessed siblings, why they are important to you. Your overwhelming response was a frustration towards this forest. From a lack of natural resources to the inability to cultivate crops, in all respects have you ever struggled to build a prosperous home, thus your understandable desire for new land. However, this would be an unfortunate dismissal of what makes your forest uniquely valuable. Where is fir where's the first promise? Where is he? He needs to hear this. That That is the soil. Our tests have proven without a doubt that the Jatika heartland is abundantly fertile. This may be surprising to hear as you have seen crops fail time and time again, but we have discovered the root of this problem as well. The meteorites scattered throughout your forest emit an unusual energy that greatly influences the development of surrounding plant life. Some plants thrive on this energy, like the nijul and the giant trees that create the canopy, but others, as you well know, are sickened by it. Fortunately, the solution is simple. Across the salt, in a place called Charlian, there is a peerless collection of flora sampled from every corner of the world. Now that we know what energies are most prevalent in your forest, we can offer you seeds and starters guaranteed to thrive here. I took the liberty of contacting a few colleagues via Link Pearl. Should you desire them, a sample of our best candidates can be shipped here in short order. Seeds that are going to grow! I need those seeds. Nothing lives on my balcony. Just as Eorzea acquired the pulpito and tomato from Taral, so too might Mamuk benefit from foreign crops. You mean we'd be able to grow more than a jewel here? Precisely. Why care, while care must be taken to choose those species that will not have an adverse effect on the ecosystem, your agricultural... Agri agricultural options should increase markedly. With the right cross, Mook will have it have all it needs to prosper, both at home and in trade. Blessed siblings don't have to be the answer anymore. 
I love how she says doesn't have to be the answer anymore, right? Surely at least twice, uh, as much, right? MSQ is probably 50-50 when it comes to voice stuff, yeah? Yeah. And they use some really awesome people that voice some of these characters. <laughs> so they probably are pretty pricey. Um, have you checked? <laughs> Have you checked what type of energy flows through your balcony? <laughs> I don't have the right ethereal um, gauges and tools like um, Kona does, so unfortunately, no. <laughs> we can't change the past, but we can try to make the future better. <laughs> uh, let the old teachings end with us. That's a huge thing to say. Let it let it end with us. I know blessed siblings represent absolute strength to you. Letting go of that idea can't be easy. But I'll prove that when we work together. Our combined strength can achieve anything. Show us, promise. If there is another way for our children in our home, we'll no longer suffer in silence. I love, I love this, I love this story, this part. I like this. Sometimes we have to fight alone, but not this time. Would you say a few words? Ooh, what am I gonna say? Uh. With faithful allies at your side, you can save even the entire star. That's pretty powerful. And friends, both old and new, you can find the light to banish the darkness and eh, too cheesy. Anything is possible when you work together. <laughs> Our victory over Valley Garmada is proof of that. Uh, I guess that would relate to them more. They don't know anything about what's been happening <laughs> in terms of the star. So they'd probably be like, what? The sky ruins? The great Kahlua Jaja himself struggled to even seal it. That's right. We've said what we wanted to say. Now all that's left is to defeat my father's shade and the feet of the brotherhood and clear the way for Mamuk's bright new future. Do not give us cause to question our faith in you, please. Live up to your words. I will. I hope I will. Um, after we complete this feat, let's be sure to tell Zerilja the good news about his forest. I'm sure he's as eager as anyone to eat what tasty foods they'll grow here. I don't think he's going to be too keen on uh, the whole, we can farm now, you know. He wants power. I don't think he wants to be a farmer. Compassion even for the likes of him. You continue to eclipse me in every way. Then it is a simple choice. Cute. I love Kona. It almost beats the fact that I haven't seen Graha in a while. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, I didn't read that. Darn it. What did he say? Darn it. Why are some of these where I can click and continue forward and some of them aren't like that? Darn it. What did he say? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, exactly. Wuklamaz got ahead to announce her readiness. I never imagined the samples we so feverishly collected for the Exodus would find new purpose here. But if they help these people improve their prospects, all the better. Can you imagine if... Like, we had so much help from the bunny people on the moon, but what if they had help from the bunny people? Well, I'm forgetting their, what they're called. <laughs> the bunny people. Um, Lopperets. Imagine if they had help from the Lopperets. Why isn't the Lopperets helping them? Don't they love the whole star? 
They saw, I guess they didn't. They cut. I. Oh well, they were too busy making sure that we had an escape. So never mind. <clears throat> anyway, we should go and meet our comrades where Zorolja made his own attempt. The final feat awaits. Final feet. Are we gonna be able to do this? Zoraja has struggled and he's a pretty strong man. He's pretty strong. I need to go get water. I'm thirsty. Reading all these uh, lines, I have to drink so much water. Um, I think it's this way. The final feet. <laughs> Right? And does this continent have dragons or do they just fly to our side of the world and chill? Right? Like, did they not, like, when, when the world was basically ending, did they not see this stuff in the sky as well? <laughs> Flopperets are busy planning to go to other planets for the new island sanctuary. What? What is that? Is that something that was announced in a live letter or something? We're getting another island sanctuary. <laughs> I haven't even... My island sanctuary never really got very far. As fun as it sounded when I first heard about it, but it was just launched at a poor time for me where I didn't really want to play Final Fantasy because I was pretty burnt out. And then Island Sanctuary came out and I was like, oh, this is cool. And then I didn't do anything with it, which is unfortunate because it, it looks cool. Kind of confusing though. A little bit. I haven't even started our planet's island sanctuary. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, this usually means a. S uh, I'm gonna have to fight, right? Yeah. <gasps> Do I get to be a tank again? Someone has gone to fetch the real jaw. He should be here soon. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. Yes. Six, six, six! Devil numbers. My item level is six, six, one. Does that mean I can't do this? I think, wait, does it mean it's just recommended? It says level sync. Oh, no, I can do it. Okay, we're good. It means that, oh, I'm over that number. It will level sink down. Okay, well, that's fine. All right, cutscene time. Zerelja, I'm ready for the final feat. <laughs> Grown weary of postponing the inevitable, have you? Something like that. You see, I've learned all sorts of things about Mamuk and your people. Is that supposed to impress me? <laughs> I now understand why I need to surpass blessed siblings. The cost of producing superior offspring is destroying your people's souls. Look at them, and you'll see this. So I'll defeat my father's shade and prove to you that there's a better path for Mamuk. Dang! What yeah! Drivel. Without the blessed, we are nothing but weaklings! Dude, to fade into obscurity. Of course you are weak. We all are, each and every one of us. But when we join hands, we gain the strength to overcome any foe, even Vali Yarmanda. Enough talk. Prove your mettle against Gulul Jaja, the finest warrior ever to have graced Tural. What is this? What is this thing? How is it like this? I keep expecting her to start singing at some point. All of her lines sound like she's leading into a child's musical number. 
fine by me? <laughs> Not even Papa's shade will stop me from upholding his legacy. Can you imagine? I will shade. fight alongside her. Oh, Kona's gonna fight with me? Wait, we can do that? It can't be 1v1? Hi, Thankrat! Claimants are not permitted to assist one another. Second promise. But you may observe your sister's pitiable attempt. I see. In that case... It seems I'm no longer a claimant. I am now free to participate, I trust. What? <gasps> How did I guess that would happen? No, Kona. Kona. What are you scheming? Whoa. Wait, he doesn't want to be a claimant. I've simply come to realize who is worthy of following in father's footsteps. Wow! Not our brother. Not Bakul Jaja. And not me. Dang! You have always held the happiness of our people closest to your heart, Lamachi. So I will do everything in my power to ensure you ascend to the throne. This is how I shall repay father for his kindness. This is how I shall serve Tuli Yolal. Kona, best boy, man. Holy cow. I could always <laughs> count on you, Kona. Thank you. <laughs> it will make no difference. Best bro. Numbers matter not in the face. Of true might. So does that mean I get to play as me then? She doesn't have to do this 1v1? Hulu Jaja. Mightiest of the blessed. All right. Cool. Ah! Oh, Everyone ready? Um, uh, sure. Let's do this. Have we fought shades in the past, chat? Oh, <laughs> Aramville's like, mm. all right, I'm out. <laughs> Wait, that was kind of funny. No hard feelings, Papa. I've got a lot of hopes riding on my shoulders. <laughs> he and just smiled and ran. It's through you. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. I'm so invested in a game I don't play. You're basically playing. <laughs> kind of. Glue Jaja's glory! Alright, are we ready? Go! Bear witness to our resolve. In their resolve, which guides our journey. So long as we stand together. We're unstoppable. What's gonna happen? This is gonna be fun. Roaring star. Look, I don't have to worry about healing. That's Alpha Nose deal. Whoa! I'm gonna heal anyways, just in case. Wait, everybody's moving. Oh, the freaking. These place sundered. Baligarbanda uh, here. Look at that. Look at them telling me where to stand. Cheaters! Cryo, I will pay you if I have to. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Forgot to move. This is a cool fight. I like it, I like it. This is like, we've we've already fought him, so we kind of already knew what it's kind of like, right? 
He's just younger and more, you know. Oh no, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. easy if you're a healer. Maybe. Uh, ow. Oh my god, I forgot to show- I got a new skill. I got the Seraphism skill because I oh, hit geez. level 100 yesterday. Guys. Oh wait, what's going on? I'll have to show y'all in a little bit. It looks so pretty. I can't show you now because my level is sink. Defend the afflicted. We must free them. Who Target should we focus on first? None can outrun my flames. Here, can I do this? Is this enough? Oh, there you go. Okay, good. I was about to say, I was like, uh, this is taking a while. Wow! That looks cool. But together, we shall triumph. That wasn't enough, though. Man, how long do we have? There we go. He gave us plenty of time. <laughs> it's cool, but can you hear MP? Yeah, true. Because everything's instant, right? The Adlo and the... I forgot what they're called. The new skills. Roaring star. You're not alone. Oops, sorry. <laughs> been a cool trial. Maybe, right? Nah. I don't know what the other trial is, so this will be fun. Ow. Half a nose, like, Kylie, stop standing in the bed, darn you. Lays of fire rain. This is so much better than having to do this on tank. Or, well, I'm just not used to playing a tank, so. Aaron Bell, get out! You're gonna get hurt! Oh, you're good. Don't worry. <laughs> You're standing in the bed. Surely this will quench your thirst for battle. Are shades supposed to be talking? We. Uh oh. What's this? Resolve the risen kindle. By crimson wrath be sundered. The Eye of Sauron. Oh my goodness. Oh, he summoned a blade. Whoa! That's pretty big. Everyone, get behind me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. Well, you have the cool, it shows you. I don't know if I need to do that. This is so cool looking! Cool! Is that the best you can do? Wow! I think
think he's compensating. We will see Lamachi become dancer. Lamachi. Lamachi. I also love that. What does that mean, Lamachi? Beloved one or something? I like it. Good job, Alpha. No, good healer. I would give you a player recommendation. Same with you, walk the math if I could. Yay, we're do we did it! Almost. Come on, keep go keep going. Excellent fighting. Oh, Urian J is also healing. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's my old man for you. <laughs> right, he is. <laughs> we did it! Oh, you're right. He was going to summon that blade, but we didn't see it because his other head was I napping. Refuse. You're right. To accept this. You refuse? Ain't that a bit stubborn? Even for you. Whoa, who's that voice? Whoa, wait. Is th what is this Ket Ketaram? Arugadin. It couldn't be. Wait, it's not pronounced Rogaiden? Arugadin? Tanqua. Oh no, this is okay. Yeah, of course this wouldn't be Ketaram, but still, who? Tanqua. Or maybe he it looks. Indeed. You're looking more imposing since last I saw you, Wuklamat. So Australian. I love Tanqua. it. Tanqua. My Turali moniker. Galul Jaja insisted I take one, saying my birth name was too cumbersome for the local tongues. Oh. That birth name being Ketanram, I presume. I was right! Tankwa. Wait, so he didn't die? Wait, I thought they said that he... Was that the same guy? They said that they... The... That he was lost at sea, but it's a lie. I love his outfit. I love the blue. It goes so good with his eyes. It is Kenton Ram. Oh, Kenton Ram's that legendary Eorzean sailor. Yeah. The one with the pickled cabbage. Yeah. What? Cabbage. We can talk about with yes. cabbage okay. later. Oh, it is him, though. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, his name is kind of hard to pronounce. Zarelja, whether you like it or no, these young'uns accomplished the feat. Yeah. To deny Wuklamat her reward would be to betray the Dawn Servant's trust. Do I like his voice? <laughs> Level 100 and just learning how to pronounce, but doesn't di different people pronounce Rogaiden and Rogadin like different? I don't know. What should she be rewarded for? Calling upon her minions to carry her to victory! Uh... Are you the different person in this question? <laughs> no? I swear I've heard it pronounced as Rogaiden in like a cutscene. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're not minions. We're welcome as friends and comrades. The power of friendship unite. You're the autark of Mamuk. Show some dignity. Ooh, let's say that. Freaking butthole. I don't have dignity. What? Not anymore. Okay. I wager everything on this feat. <laughs> you said it, not me. And by the same token, <laughs> Adam. 
I understand the enormity of your accomplishment. Together, we can achieve anything. You needn't place your faith in the promise of blessed siblings. How would you have us reclaim our glory? <laughs> Farming! Farming's fun! With friendship and community. With us. That too. If you mean to rule, you should be more sparing with your offers of clemency. Especially to a man who has sacrificed countless young lives. Hmm. <laughs> now they break into a song about friendship. Do a tap dance. Nevertheless, I will fulfill my charge as elector. In recognition of your feet, I bestow upon you a keystone. Woohoo! At least, I mean... Hmm. It's good to know that he was also sad about the tons of babies. Are nearly in order, I suppose. I'm confident that you will find the Golden City in no time. Uh, I'm I'm happy to know that he's sad. He didn't seem sad, I guess is what I mean to say. But he is sad. Deep down. But he actually just said it, so maybe not as deep down as I thought. But, that's good. I'm glad everybody agrees that doing blessed siblings is not what they want. Good. You've grown much. And more during this journey. Become someone ready to lead our nation. Little Lamachi no longer. As your brother, I couldn't be more proud. Ugh. That's so cute. Ah. Uh. Uh. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. I love this. <laughs> it's so cute. I must express my gratitude for your cooperation and my regret for failing to live up to expectations. Nonsense. If you believe Wolf Lamart is the woman for the job, then you have our wholehearted support. And we'd like to be friends with our friends again. One last thing. I wish to speak to you both from the heart. Unpracticed as I am, this may sound hackneyed, but hackneyed. I am truly grateful to have met you. <laughs> That's cute. Words spoken with such feeling would resonate with any fortunate enough to hear them. Though our journey together hath ended. Ever shall we cherish the memories. I am. And should you require further esoteric musings or biting witticisms, don't hesitate to call. I dare say we'll come flocking. <laughs> but I get ahead of myself. As I recall, our contract remains in effect until we've escorted the second promise back to the capital. I leave my sister in your capable hands. Why aren't they joining? See that she returns home safely. Oh, I guess they're just leaving early. Okay. Time to get the gold and ditch everyone and strike it rich back in Eorzea. <laughs> okay. You've still moms to go yet, Wuklama. The right ain't over till you find the city of gold. I'm saying it right now that set that area we haven't explored, but I solution nine that's the city of gold. I know, but if I can come this far, don't I say can anything, Jack. Anyway. We haven't even gotten there yet, and we're still in the middle of the story. Like, what? This is crazy. 
Or maybe solution denying is just our stepping stone. Man, they had to show me solution denying. I'm like, where, when the heck is that gonna be put in this story? How? Uh, yay! A keystone forever! We got all of our gym badges, chat. Let's go and tell the people of our victory. Ketten Ram. And we found the mysterious Ketten Ram. But she already knew who he was. <laughs> it's true. He became good friends with Zareel, right? Yeah. That's what it said, right? In the thing. Anyways, third promise. You brought everyone. We were just coming to you. We did it, Mamilja. We proved to the Autark that not even my father's full power could overcome the strength of our fellowship. I knew you would. I was right to trust you. You fulfilled your promise. Now it's our turn. You've shown us another way that we can build the lives we always wanted here in our homeland without sacrifice. Since our new crops will come from across the salt, I suppose we will have to treat with outsiders as, as equals, of course. Inside or outside, we're all just people, no matter what we look like or where we're born. Tell them, Waklamat. There's some people here that need to know that. Not here in chat, but just in the world. Hi, hi. Good morning. When we're not used to all the color and variety, differences can feel like obstacles. But by learning more about what makes us different... We can also find common ground in places we never expected. Something new may become something you love. And someone you once hated might one day become your friend. You'll never know unless you keep an open mind. And while it may feel scary, taking the, that first step towards understanding is always worth it. Preach, right? Freaking said it beautifully. Of course, learning about outsiders may well help Mamut grow, but what happens when they learn about us? About what we've done? They will not. Oh. What? 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 For generations, our covenant has been kept secret, and so shall it remain. The atrocities committed here were facilitated by the Autarchs. We and no one else are responsible. For my deeds, I am prepared to forfeit my life, but I will not suffer others to be damned alongside me. Wow, what? No one's being damned and your life isn't forfeit. The last thing the city needs is more death. Bakul Jaja hasn't fought, his fought this hard for this long only to lose his father. If you truly feel responsible, be the first person to extend understanding to others on behalf of Mamuk. Your community is waiting for you here and in Tuliolo. <laughs> it's my fault. I guess I'll just die. How's that going to help anybody? <laughs> what? We can still make things right, my love. Choose a different side of history. Aww. Thank you, Third Promise. Thank you for everything. How close are you finishing, Hack? To finishing. You still owe me an explanation about that cabbage, you know. Not my cabbages! The people of Mamuk have accepted you. Merchants and menders are now available for use. That means I get more Aether current quests. Wait, does that mean I can finish this area? Maybe? How many more do I need? One, two, three, four, five. I am not near 
One, two, three, four. There might be one more for a main story quest. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Road to the Golden City. This ain't no place for a proper chat. Me cabin's just north of the city. Blue eyes abode, as people here call it, on, a on account of me dazzling twinklers. His eyes are pretty. Fifth is always in MSQ. That's when you know you can f get fly in the area. Oh, is it always that? I didn't know that. Blue eyes abode. I can't, I don't have an, I can't do an Australian accent. I can only do a southern accent. <gasps> and then if I listen to enough people with a British accent, if I like listen to them a lot, then I, then I think I can sound pretty British. But I have to like listen to a lot of videos and vlogs and stuff. <laughs> maybe I could do the same with Australia. Nah, or maybe. I would have to just listen to it a lot. He didn't say, he didn't say mate one time. Give it a second. He's barely spoken at all, okay? Give it a second. Wait, he lives here? Wait, where? Where? Oh, here? Oh. Ah, not bad. He lives here. Wait, why? Why is there a story about him? Oh, look at his house. This is a nice house. It's a good inside plant. Just looking around. You got the world map. Uh, okay. Hi, Orca. I like his little crystal light. Why do you choose to settle down in Mamook? They haven't exactly been welcoming to outsiders, legendary explorer or other otherwise. All the more reason to keep a weather eye on them. Though seeing how you've won them over, methinks I'll have less need for vigilance. I'm here at Galul Jaja's behest to ensure his hard-won peace is kept, and incidentally to remind Zerilja of his duty as a lector should he have forgotten it. Ah, so he was here to help all along. My old man ordered you to stay here? That's no way to treat an honored guest. <laughs> I'd say I'm more than your father's guest by now. Or didn't you see the sepulchre atop Warcor Zamor? That's right, Ketimram was one of the names. Your father and I fought so shoulder to shoulder in many a battle, Valley Garmanda being but one of our triumphs. He and I are brothers, so when your brother tells you to stand watch, you stand watch. You trust in his judgment and his strength of will, even if that means you have to sit out the occasional scrap. Surely you understand such a bond, surrounded as you are by all these bright and eager faces. I do. My comrades are my strength, and it's thanks to them that I understand Papa's hopes for this nation, what I must continue to protect. Then prove your readiness for the throne, Wakamat. Find the Golden City. Oh, I will. With these ones beside me, even uncovering a legend should be child's play. Especially since I believe I already have. Wait, what? Crow holding out on us? All by yourself? How? When? Well, as you know, electors are forbidden from giving unfair advantage to claimants. So when Hunmu Hun Ryok refused to divulge why my grandfather passed through Ikbrash 20 years ago, his silence spoke volumes. You think a loose visit had something to do with the Golden City? Precisely. Moreover, only the Yakwi who lived in Yaktel ever dreamt these golden dreams. When exposed to certain triggers, those with magical aptitude have been known to receive visions. Oh, magical aptitude. Interesting. Um, and if Griffler's abilities are at all representative, the Aqui are no stranger to the arcane. 
Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, she did. Okay, hold on. I'm so, I'm trying to remember what they said about the Golden City. They said the people that lived in this area got visions, and it's because they were. Acceptable arcane. I can't remember. Not as nice as a one-bedroom tiny mansion. Wait, what? What do you mean? Hold on, I'm waiting for the ads to go away before I continue. How y'all doing, chat? Y'all having a good Tuesday? You still having good... Oh, it's afternoon now, basically. <clears throat> it's afternoon. Okay, we can keep going. Which means the dreamers of Eld likely owe their experiences to their inherent qualities and their proximate proximity to the city itself. Here, in these forests. What? The city of gold in this forest? Likely owe their experience to their inherent qualities. Interesting. It's in the forest? The city of gold in the forest? Then all we need to do is search Yachtel from top to bottom, right? It would behoove us to try and narrow our focus. To that end, I propose we return to Mamook and make inquiries. While there, we can all take the opportunity to see to any necessary travel preparations. When everyone is ready, let us assemble to assemble at the eighth right. Where am I gonna find this city of gold? I hope. Do you think it's like a city of just meteorites? You're. Oh shoot. Coquies boy, Coxiwa's boy, ain't she? Oh, lore between Arenvel. She told me about you. Said she tasked ye with finding the Golden City. Who? Remember he had a different name. I can't remember his other name. Aye, I might even succeed despite my best efforts. I had begun to think it was a fool's errand. My own fruitless search in my youth proved as much. Yet, here you are, older and wiser, playing the fool again. It's just fields of corn. <laughs> Courtesy of the company I've been keeping, perhaps. Wuklamet's not the only one to have grown thanks to her comrades. We'll find it together. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. I cannot say that. <laughs> Was I ever that young? We all were. But we're old now. Oh! I'm waiting for you. I like the ring. I have a cute little blue ring that I'm that I have on my little finger. Hi Ben, how are you? We every me every day was I ever that young? <laughs> you waited for me? It seems Ram knows my mentor. So we chatted for a bit longer. Oh, so that was his mentor. Alpha no said to meet by the Aetherite, so I'll see you there. I'm lazy. Ooh, I'm excited. Are we gonna find the city of gold? I wonder if it's really gonna be a city of gold. We've seen places that are filled with gold in like the treasure map areas, you know? When you land on the right spot. The merchants were more than happy to mend my gear and sell me supplies. 
One would hardly believe that they were ever averse to aiding visitors. Hee <laughs> you won't believe how many nudrules they gave me. Now, all we need is a hint to point us in the right direction. City of gold, here we come. I think I can offer that much. Yay! Information. I have an inkling of where the golden city might be. What? Mamilija and Zerilja, you come to help us? No. As an elector, I am forbidden from speaking of the Golden City, but my wife is beholden to no such constraints. I wonder if mending a Picto's gear is just refilling paint pots. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> then anything you can tell us would be greatly appreciated. Our people have lived here for centuries. There is no corner of this forest we do not intimately know, save for one. Do you recall the place I showed you where my son confessed the truth of blessed siblings? That stone pier stands at the entrance of the sky deep cenote, the final resting place for children we lost to our zealotry. Precious few are permitted beyond the cenotaph doors, and we have not explored its deepest recesses. If the Golden City is in Yachtel, it may well be hidden there. Will you permit us to search for it? I have no reason to refuse you. No longer will we rely on blessed siblings, nor will we conceal the sacrifices made to conceive them. The cenote is no longer under our protection. It is a dismal burial ground, and our children deserve better. Their bodies will be moved to a place of comfort and peace. Aww, that's nice. That's good. I'm sure Bakul Jaja would appreciate that, and we're here to offer any help if you need it. Your father also visited the cenote, come to think of it. It was many years ago by now, but a notable affair due to the foreigner he brought with him. A mage, I believe. A notable affair. Truly? Oh my god, it's Galoof. The dawn servant did not disclose his reasons, but he descended past our cenotaph and into the old Yaqui quarries. Interesting. I think we have our answer. I was wrong about solution nine. <laughs> Bye, Lulu. See you later. Doubtless the very same ones excavated by Vorpolor's dreamers. Then the Golden City must be there. In the depths of the sky deep cenote. Thank you, both of you. We'll set out straight away. You will find a winged beast or two lingering in gawk trock descent. They will carry you below. I believe in you, Third Promise. You will make a magnificent dawn servant. Ooh, I'm excited. What the heck? Ooh! Answers! And we're also getting answers for Cryo. This is it, everyone. To the Sky Deep Cenote. No wonder they weren't able to talk about her grandfather it really would have given the third promise unfair advantage um all right we have to go back that way away we go cool let's go find the city of gold chat or at least make an attempt it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so fun when I can fly in this region. Bananas. Wrong way. Hmm. 
Wait, how do I get across? I think I need to go across this area. Darn it. To the bridge! Unless I can cut across. I probably could have, but whatever. I'll do it this way. like a journey I want my picto to say happy little trees as I do damage I did see somebody do a glamour of Bob Ross for their picto mancer and it's perfect <laughs> It's absolute perfection. Hmm. We made it. Almost there. To the city of gold. I'm so curious what it's going to be. Probably not going to be actual gold. That's what I'm guessing. It's not going to be actual gold. It's going to be something that we learn. Or something. I don't know. Like something that's going to improve everybody's lives somehow. Maybe it's a crop. Maybe it's a technology. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's all fool's gold. <laughs> it's fake gold I'm suing. It could be all gold maybe but then you would think that it would have been all excavated by now but they did say because of the disease so there's something that obviously is happening making it so that people can't bring it back yeah it's all pyrite <laughs> we'll find out hopefully we'll find out it could just all be murals and like information or something. I don't know. Like maybe it's like a fit, like a, I don't know. This is the cenotaph, which means that beyond these doors is right of succession or no, disturbing the souls that rest here feels wrong. I know, but I can't turn back. Let's pay our respects at the very least. Let's go. Let's -a go. I'm ready to complete my journey. Oh, it's a dungeon? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> it's, a it's a dungeon! Dungeon time! A dungeon time! A dungeon time! Okay, alright. Who wants to come? A fan you do? Hold on, let me load my list. Here we go. Let's see if we're suing or not. Rhea, do you want to come? Sono, do you want to come? We got Effin's a tank. I'm healer. Rhea's DPS. Do you have a DPS, Sono? Did you want to come? There's room, Rhea. There's always room for you. I, I literally had no idea. Oh my god, this guy's name. John Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> um, there is room. Um... <laughs> Literally, 
no idea that this is a dungeon, but then it like kind of like slowly. That, that's when you know it's gonna be a dungeon. It's like when the cutscene just like slowly backs away, and then it pops it up. <laughs> You're like, oh, cool, cool. Okay, so just follow my lead. Follow the Dorito. If you know how to do this, wipe your memory clean. Um, follow my lead, and I know there's a delay, so just follow me and where I stand. Um, and yeah, good luck. <laughs> Don't die, please. All right, uh, am I prepared? I'm good. We're good? We're good. Let's do this. Yeah, the sky deep cenote. Ooh! Also, let me look around too, please. I wanna, I wanna look around. I wanna look around. That's depressing. Some of them are even open. So they just put them in the water? Well, I guess because it's, it's, they were trying to hide it. Whoa, this looks cool. Sad, right? I guess they were hiding it, right? So that's why they put them in the water? Wait, why did my get set back to default? Wait, why is mine, why, what? Oh well, I'll have to fix it later. Um, it resets when you put on new gear. Oh, it does? Oh, okay. Ooh. Wow, this place is big! This is a big cenote. Okay, uh, tank please. Okay. Arrowhead. Look at the little octopus. It's like a stingray octopus. <laughs> a manta ray the octopus. Manta ray a puss. Manta ray a puss. Hmm. Wow, yeah, look at that. Oh. Yeah, like, look at, look at that. And some of them are cracked. Remember when we saw the little, they showed, oh, the music. Um, it's like a more elevated, the sound song. Um, but yeah, look at that. We saw, like, a, a brief memory of the guy. Remember? Yeah, it all makes sense now. I can change my title to, oh, is it 95 now? Thanks, cat. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's a ghost and a specter. Are these the ghosts of the dead children? <laughs> ah! Alright. <laughs> They're just called sky deep boars and haunts. Jeez. Oh my god, uh... Oops, what am I doing? I have to go over here if I'm gonna do that. This place looks cool though. Oh, it's kinda hard to see though. Oh, let me zoom out. Look at the roots of the trees. I feel like we're in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> What are these little pedestals? Okay, y'all kill those. I'm gonna look at this. 
What is this? Or is that just like incense, maybe? Ooh, first boss! Oh, it looks. Oh, it's like a manta ray. Oh, it is! Feather ray. Ooh. Cool. Alright. Um. Let's do this. Um. Immersion. Unsung Elegy. You are cursed to be a nuisance to your party? Oh. <laughs> what? That isn't every day? Release the feather rays. How would I be a nuisance? What the heck is this? What? Alright, it's okay. Keep doing your thing. I'm gonna... <laughs> blowing bubbles. Feather ray produces copi... Okay, dodge the bubbles? Dodge the bubbles. Or die to the bubbles. Your choice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Bubbles do damage. Dodge the bubbles. My bubbles. Whoa, big bubbles. Uh, okay. Don't be hit by the bubbles. Oh, just kidding. Ah! <laughs> okay, I thought that was gonna make us go. Can y'all die, please? Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So we, it pushes us back, but not as far back as I thought. So we need to be pushed back enough so the bubbles AoEs don't hit us. Okay. Wow. Ow. Thank you for dying, and thank you. Oh, I'll wait. This is, that is me when I play in groups, cursed to be a nuisance to the party. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I still don't really understand what that did, though. Like, if I, if, if they get hit by my AoE or something, then it does damage? I don't know, I'll find that, I'll figure it out. All right, we got this this time. No, I, I, it was fine. Man, that was still at the beginning, though. <laughs> oh, oops, I forgot it. Yeah, but it's okay. I think I'm also gonna put a shield on all of us. Release of Feathers Ray special attack when cast. So, it's just, it summons water at all of us. Wait, mine went forward while everybody else's went, that's weird, how did that happen? How do we know who's is gonna go forward and who isn't? Hmm. Okay, dodge the bubbles. Dodge the bubbles. Or again, die to the bubbles, Rhea. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Rhea? It's okay, I got you, don't worry. Okay, um. So there's an opening here. So I'm thinking maybe if we get like right here, we'll be pushed back. Oh, nope, I did it wrong again. Darn it. Okay, so the bubbles are what's being pushed back, not us. So we have to stand in an area. Dang it, sorry guys. I'm remembering I did really bad in this dungeon my first time. It's okay, we'll learn together. Darn it. Well, you already know, actually. What am I saying? I'll learn. <laughs> Dang it, I thought we were being pushed back, not the bubbles, but it's the bubbles that get pushed back. Okay. Dang it. Oh, this is the first boss. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I won't, I won't beat myself up. 
I do want to shield us during that moment. So I think after the bubbles, the little bubbles go away, I'm going to shield us. With uh, rec recitation and deployment tactics. I think. We'll shield us here first. I can't use my Seraphism yet. That's a level 100 skill, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, also, I really want to understand this. How do I... So, make sure... No, make sure the water won't hit anyone. So, just face... There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, make sure the water doesn't hit anybody. And that's why we had nuisance. Understood. Alright, bubbles are coming out. Dodge the bubbles, Rhea! And Sono, and me, and Effin. Dodge the bubbles! Oh no! Is there something I'm missing? Maybe I can't dodge the bubbles? Okay, hold on. Let me... Here, um, let's get closer together so I can shield everyone. Okay, there we go. Alright, also, okay, so they're gonna be put, okay, so that's gonna be pushed back, so I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, stand here. There, okay, I got it now. Okay, also, it's okay, Sono, it was really hard for you to, <laughs> that was a really hard, oh, that was a really hard time for you to, wait, where'd you go? No, so no! Okay, don't hit anybody, but also avoid the bubbles. Oh, good luck. Oh god. Oh god. How the heck do you do this? Wait, when is he gonna... Oh god. Oh, nuisance went away. Oop, I got hit by one. Lag spike. Oh no, you got it was laggy. It's okay, don't worry. Have you done this dungeon before, Sono? I misclicked. Oh no! Oh, it's okay. Okay, here. I'm gonna stand here, I think. Around here. Oh shoot. Ow. Okay, well, I'm okay. Didn't get that quite right. The problem is I don't know exactly how far the bubbles are going to go. Okay, there's water on the ground. Troublesome tail. Oh, right. That's the nuisance. Trouble bubbles. Oh, my bubbles. I'm producing bubbles? Oh, I'm producing bubbles. Oh! Oh, it's my bubbles that... Just dodge my bubbles. And I'll dodge y'all's bubbles. Got it. Yeah, we're finding a stingray. <laughs> Immersion. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't get that out fast enough, but that's okay. Bubble bomb? What's this? I did not mean to use that. Uh, oh, right. This, this. So maybe like right here. Well, I'm gonna cast this on me anyways, in case... Oh, I didn't need to. Nice! I'm getting this! Hydro ring. Yes. He's dead! We did it! Woo! Okay. Not bad. Not the best I could have done, but not bad. Not bad. Tears spent. Are these all the teal tears of the mimulja? Is it like Dune? This is cool. Okay, just got some architecture here. Let's keep going. Oh, there's a hole. Do we go down? <laughs> oh, I didn't take any damage. Miner's mark. Okay. Those are some big tools that you, they got down here. Some spiders burn this whole place down. It's 
So many spiders. I <laughs> heard that Lala knee crunch. So crunchy. There's a treasure coffer up here. We should get it. Just rocks everywhere. <laughs> I'm getting surgery done after this thing. Dang. Dang. Nothing for me yet. Is this, is the, is the outfit quite nice? In this dungeon? Ooh, what's this? Vergar Armory? Oh, it's Armory? What is that? Are these like pants? Rats! There are rats! Whoa, what is that? It's a mask! Oh, look at these! Oh, workers arise! Eliminate the rats! A speaking stone. It's Majora's Mask! Interesting. Is this place cursed? Is this place cursed? <laughs> XPS. Clearly. I still haven't done the, uh, there's a jump quest. Or jump puzzle. In, um, Tuliolo. I haven't tried it yet. I'll try it sometime. Oh, he's summoning more. Smash them! What did that say? Smear them into pulp. Jeez, okay, dude. Oh my god, it's... What the heck? It's like the wall monster. In some previous Final Fantasy games, but a cube monster. Ooh, there's a treasure coffer over there as well. Oh wait, there's two masks. There's one there. Oh no, no, no. That's the only one. Interesting. Um, may skyscraper i don't know um i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure where it is but whatever wherever it is i will find it and i will attempt it probably yes so it's got to be somewhere high up right okay <gasps> ooh look at this it's like ancient Battle tech. Ooh. Oh. Whoa, look at this. Core engage. Fire arms is risen. All right, let's try. Destroy! I guess they're trying to protect the city of gold, right? So they have to have things in place. Dominant, dynamic dominance. Ooh. Mirror maneuver. Okay, we got a strange ball. Let's uh, stand right here. No, right here. Because it's a mirror! Okay, didn't realize it was gonna explode. Okay, good to know, good to know. <laughs> Mirror maneuver. 
Okay, what is he doing now? What is that? I don't know what that means. So just stand here. Oh. Oh! Calculated! <laughs> oh, dodge that. <laughs> I stood in the right spot. Okay, so it goes in the directions it, say, it says it'll go. Crumble beneath my full might. Die, die, die! No, thank you. Oh, it's the mirror thing again! What the? Okay, it's gonna hit there to hit here to, let's, I don't freaking know. Let's stand over here. No, I was wrong! How do you know where that big thing is gonna explode? <laughs> well, gosh darn it. Okay, let me heal a little bit better. Okay. Uh, stand here. Yeah, here. Stand or yeah, you can stand there too. Oh no. Oh, dot. Uh, spread out. <laughs> this is fun, but also hard. We're doing good. Oh no, not the mirror thing again. All right, how do I know what's gonna explode though? Does he explode? I'm gonna assume here. No, it's this one that explodes. Gosh darn it, I stood right next to it this time. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, it must be... Oh no. We're doomed. Um, also, I don't know. Uh, here. Yeah, here, here, here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, one second, so no. I have three Vuln stacks. Oh, this is a not a bad time to revive. Oh, nice. Thank you for that. Okay, so it must, it must go boom, boom. And then boom, so over here. I think I understand now. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I got it. Okay, I understand now. We're good now. <laughs> Took me a little bit. So it basically reflects into the ball. Okay. What is this? Oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah. Usually, like, right in front of... Oh, we did it! Only a few deaths. Ooh. I got a necklace. I got the necklace. But it's still not that... Uh, it's a little bit better. I'll look at it later. This is cool. What is this purple stuff? Ooh. Sky Deep Packer. They be packing some stuff. Interesting. Good job, y'all. Thank y'all for letting me lead. Where you need to quickly flee part of the floor. Oh, of course. Mechanics. Sometimes you have to already know where to stand though. <laughs> and it can be challenging when you're doing it for the first time. You're like, what? Walls look pretty unique and different. It's changing. It's changing. It's 
getting more purple as we go throughout this and no whoa whoa look at it is that the city of gold it's gold whoa look at it that's really pretty is that a keyhole we need a key what's this oh what the heck oh whoa this is cool some ancient ruins that wow that looks awesome Goi goi su chat. Goi goi su. Oh, treasure coffer. Dang it. Wow. There's a keyhole. We need a key. Oh, I bet the key are the keystones. Maybe. The, all of our tablets are going to form a giant key. Kind of looks like a pyramid, doesn't it? The Mayan ruins. Find out the Switch version of... Switch version of Final Fantasy XV? I haven't played Final Fantasy XV on the Switch. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know it was on the Switch. Stone Mason. So they had all of these ancient, I don't even know what you would call these, ancient robots, stone robots, make this area maybe? Pocket version? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I definitely haven't played it. I never, I've never even seen that. <laughs> Rhea, what's that skill where you're summoning that like green thing? Ooh, cutscene. Oh, <gasps> it turned the platform on so we can get across. Ooh, this is the final boss though. What? It's gigantic. It's like a giant hammerhead guy. Malt. Mall skull. I think that's perfect. Sculptor of silence. Okay, all right. He smash. All right, let's try this. Whoa. I just pulled my neck. Oh no. Oh, because he's so big? Hi, Evan. All right, let's try this. He draws power into his fist. All right, let's dodge that fist. I don't know if it's gonna be like, oh yeah, it is. Okay, and then the other way. Okay. Interesting. Skull crush. All right, let's actually, it's gonna probably push us back. So, oh, I was right. Oh no. How did I know that? Okay, one second, so no. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there's a square in the center. Oh. Okay, so he hits it and like the shrapnel falls off of it. Okay, so just dodge it. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it just goes in the center. Okay, okay. Also, sorry, so no, one second. I guess I used my, I thought I, okay. Uh, shoot. Okay, dodge the left fist and then the right fist. Oh no, whoa, whoa, oh shoot. I almost got, oh my God. I almost fell off again. Okay, good to know. Okay. Go. Okay, oh, he's gonna hit here, so. 
Oh, okay, go together. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Try to heal. Um Don't get Oh, okay. So we're going to be pushed back and then spread out. Whoa, that was great. Y'all did great. That was fantastic. Good job, team. That was smooth. Ash layer. Okay, that's like a AOE. Ow. Okay, he's gonna do his shrapnel thing again. I don't know how to call this. Just punches the blocks towards us. So just dodge. Dodge, but still do DPS. <laughs> oh. This is helpful to show where it's going. This is fun! Alright, into the tower. How much damage does this do? Oh, none. But wait, you did you used your little paladin skill, didn't you? That's probably why. Okay. Um get pushed back to the right side. And then go to the left. Perfect. I could probably rescue, huh? <laughs> probably would help y'all. Alright. Okay. This is a cool boss. So far, not so bad. I struggled with the first one more. But we'll see. Alright. Let's go here. Okay, and then spread out after. I love that you, you use your sprint Rhea that's really good and then ash layer oh shoot oh not bad 25 percent he's almost dead okay let's stack together stay together Into the tower. I'm sure he's gonna do everything all at once at the end. Maybe. Okay. Don't fall off. Go to the right and then the left. Or, well, just to the right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, limit break. We did it. Er. Oh, we did it. Oh, no, actually. How did you pull your knife? <gasps> Not bad. That was good. Definitely an easy boss. 100%. That was easy. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. <gasps> Time to see the City of Gold. Wait, don't leave. I want to take a photo. Don't leave yet. Darn it. Darn it. Don't leave. Don't leave. Let's take a screenshot, like, right here. Cool. Do whatever pose you want. Oh, Sono, come over a little bit more. Or a little bit, this way. Get a little bit closer. There you go. Or, wait, no, no, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, perfect, all right. Oh yeah, do the, do the gold. Wait, 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 here, let me zoom out just a tiny bit then. Okay, I need to get like a good screenshot of the gold. Okay, well that's kind of good. It goes way too high up, darn it. Okay, here, let me save this one. Okay, yeah, you got you got the right idea. <laughs> oh, dang it. I didn't get that one in time. Hold on. 
there. Oh wait, that's so cool. That one's okay. Probably not the best. Let me try one more time. One more time. There. That one's better. Ooh, that one's really good. I love it! With the sparkles? Okay, yeah, look, look at the sparkles. I could probably actually use, what is it? Gla whatever, however you're supposed to take proper screenshots. Thanks, guys. Looks so pretty. It does look so pretty. Look at the triangle at the top. Ooh, there's stairs leading up to it. Ooh, we made it! The city of gold! Kyrile, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it with your own eyes? Ooh, mwah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Looks so pretty, I know. All right, cutscene time. Thanks for coming, y'all. G pose, yeah, that's what I was, that's it. Probably should actually use that, but, <laughs> oops. <gasps> Here we go. Progression. Question. Does this remind y'all of anything? I thought this place was of your queen origin. Right? It's is glowing. This stone their creation as well? No way. No way. Ow. I don't believe so. I've never seen anything like it. Then it's from an the time. Don't tell me it's the Alagans again. Wait, is it? While careful study would be required to confirm, it does not appear to be reminiscent of their designs. Yeah. Wow, that looks so cool. <laughs> Wow, it's so shiny. My eyes. A golden light. Could it be? But remember, guys. Remember what happened to the Yaqui. Be careful. There's something on the other side. Get over there. Oh. Good job, Wakulmat. Of course, a bridge. Does she have to stand? Oh, no. Wow. That's how, apparently. Go and take a look. They look like hieroglyphics, kind of. Or like the Mayan glyphs. Doesn't it? With the heads. It's like a portal. That seal. That's Charlian and no mistake. It's a Charlian seal? Do you think her grandfather helped make it? It looked like a keyhole, but I was wrong. Wait, what is this? Cool. How do we open it? Come and look at this. <gasps> oh, 
The tablets! Your tablets might be a good fit, wouldn't you say? <gasps> the tablets, of course! Ooh, rainbow. <gasps> it's doing something. <gasps> oh, it opened the door. Leave it to Alpino. Cool. The music changed. Pixels everywhere. Is this it? The Golden City? It's kind of gold. Though there is some resemblance, it doesn't quite live up to what the Yacht Kui described from their dreams. Pretty. <laughs> well done. Wait, well he was. Done. Wait, what? Where was he? He was watching, wasn't he? to the city of gold and triumph in the prime of secession. Yay! <laughs> but now I'm so curious. Go so through it. Did it. I mean, I think that is totally fair, right? <laughs> oh my god, cool, bro. Hi, Greg. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. It's just... This place is unlike anything we've seen in Tural. Never mind the peculiar stone. For real. Given to wonder what exactly lies beyond that gate. I want to know too. Nothing less than the golden city of legend, I assure you. A circumstance prevents us from opening the gate. Circumstance? As to what the city is and what Gall of Maldesium discovered all those years ago. This knowledge and more, I will share with you after your ascension. Yay! What you choose to do with it will be up to you. The Golden City is real. Took a while, but I finally found it. Ha <laughs> ha! Come, let us 
has returned to Duliola. Home at last. We've seen Wokuma to victory in the Rite of Succession. We're only halfway there, too. And she's already gonna be the new Dawn Servant. Like me, I expect you have no few questions about the Golden City, but they must wait until our claimant has settled into her new role. Even as we speak, she prepares for the Ascension Ceremony back at the palace. I'm given to understand it will be held in a few days' time. In the meantime, let us all enjoy some well-deserved rest. <laughs> Hokage. <laughs> Time to be the Hokage. Wow, that was fun. Also, that, that dungeon was fun too. Um, recap for the people that only just now came to my stream. Uh, we are doing level 95 MSQ. We just finished getting to the entrance of the City of Gold. We have not gone in it. Because before we can go in it, we have to make Wuklamet Dawn Servant! So we have to go do all the fancy smancy ascension smancy stuff. So, do I normally, do you do normal Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks trips daily for coffee? Neither. <laughs> I make my own coffee. Upon speaking with Peshko, uh, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Oh. Cutscene time! She walks a total of six steps for coffee. Yeah, my coffee machine's right there. Ugh, my freaking shirt. They're so expensive now. Yeah. I have my own coffee. <laughs> Alright, let's watch these cutscenes then. Set aside sufficient time. Okay, well, this is perfect. I think this is a perfect spot to come back to. Yeah, I'll probably make some more coffee in a little. Well, I don't want to drink two cups a day, so I'll have to try to bear it because I drank coffee this morning. <laughs> we'll see. Welcome back, and may I congratulate you on Wilklamet's victory and the right of succession. It is our great honor to host the comrades of our future Dawn Servant. Such a grand journey has doubtless left you fatigued. Please relax and enjoy your stay. <laughs> Just make it like right here. Sometime later. All right, here we go. Oh, we're in the inn. Are they coming to the inn? Estinian, is that you? I'm just kidding. Oh, even not better, but I, well, it is better. Is it? Same. Um, I know. <laughs> I'm so tiny. Surprise to see me. I suppose it's only natural. Kona, you can come on in, Kona. May I come in? Of course. Freaking love Kona, man. Love him, love him, love him. You did, Mass. Perfect timing. Hi, Chill. I haven't properly thanked you. Dang right, not better. <laughs> I haven't seen a city in only one time this whole time, man. That my sister was able to realize her potential is testament to the quality of her traveling companions, particularly you. Is he proposing? <laughs> For that, you have my heartfelt gratitude. Well, Clement did all the work. I'm just moral support. Yeah. Oh my god. Is Stidian coming out of the back room because he was already in the room with us? Oh. <laughs> my primary business in calling is to deliver a message from a Lamachi. As you well know, after the decision ceremony, she will officially take up the mantle of Dawn Servant. 
She has expressed a desire for you to ac accept a post within her administration. While making no mention of me. What do you mean, no mention of me? Like, he, what? You need to decide immediately. My sister will broach the matter with you again after the ceremony. That means she doesn't want him... That's not true. 100% she's gonna recruit him. Whether you continue to assist Lamity or not is up to you. That is all, if you'll excuse me. Um... Hmm... What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're adventurers. We can't be locked down. But I don't know. You have become someone irreplaceable to her. As her brother, I acknowledge that with little, with no little jealousy. Aw. But believe me when I say that I hope you will stay by her side. Oh, yum, yum. And thus it arrived. The day of the dawn servant ascension ceremony! Woo! <gasps> Look at all the people! Woo! Um. What a crowd! as befits the changing of dawn servants hey look she has her own little tablet thingy it's starting woo go walk to bed woo wait this is cool Is he gonna wake up for this? Darn it, it's important. It's important. The head of reason is resting again. Thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. Right? People of Tuliolal, you honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witness the dusking of one era and the dawning of the next. The succession of dawn servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. Allow me to present the claimant, whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph and the city of gold. My daughter, Wook Lamat. Aww, everybody's cheering for her! Whoa, they're all doing the same thing all at the same time. <laughs> Flash mob! Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tulijolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. To the time-honored Ichana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. 
And with their alpacas and tradecraft, the Pelu Pelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. From the moblins and their artisans, I gained insight into the power of creativity, that it is when we are filled with passion and bolstered by the support of others that we produce our best works. And in Kozamalka, I was moved by the history and hopes of the Yokhui, who believe that death isn't the end, that we live on so long as we remembered. I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Bibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamuja after centuries of warfare. And I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed siblings and for this were burdened with great suffering. Through the understanding we forged, I am hopeful that they will find what they seek through friendship and community. For we are all Turali. Understanding with Mamuk? What sorcery did she use on them? Mm. How cute! All of which is to say that, as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive, and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamalka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokhui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tuli Hyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen, and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you. That we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness. Well, what is this music? What is this? Ooh, I know it's kind of cheesy, <laughs> but it's cute. It's cute. But the dawn servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? <gasps> oh, is it gonna be her and Kona? What is she doing? Wait, and the first. My father led Tuli Hyolao to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. <laughs> but my one head can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. <gasps> That's what she meant someone with, with the knowledge and insight that I lack. Kana! So what do you say? Be Don servant with me, Kona. Oh, that's so sweet. They're like, where? <laughs> Did she see all their heads? Your happiness is my happiness, chat. Still cute though, even if it was your cheesy. Rambachi. Are you certain? Absolutely. I knew that. Even better than administrative. Reason, and I take resolve. Together we make a full dawn servant. That's cute. <laughs> you have no objections for me, of course. 
But mine is not the approval you need. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies, some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives traverse the land in the north. I was convinced that by imitating foreign what? powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside. And the very people I wished to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister. To give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire. Servants. Two. Nothing wrong with the little sappiness. That's sweet. But he didn't finish the right of succession. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Wait, what's this? <laughs> Glad this didn't go to waste. Oh my god, she made it with him? Oh wait, it's both of them. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, I like the music. Music change. This is the lay of legacy. The part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you and I become the next Dawn servant. Good heavens. Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know. You can't hear the music too well? On a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. <laughs> Maddie said no. Both <laughs> my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. Would have been? dead not asleep hmm. of course you knew oh it's been three years since my brother left us oh shoot he really was you lied! You said he was sleeping! How could you? I've been lied to! That's sad. No wonder it that hit. cannot be. The head of reason is no longer with us. Oh, tragic tidings. 
Dang. I didn't want How does that to work? It. I'm sorry I never told you. Yeah, what the heck? We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could oh. be chosen. No wonder his head was always hidden. Carry yeah, can you imagine carrying around your dead brother's head? Why is nobody bothered by this? I'm bothered by it! Surprisingly sturdy. Well, that's just the rigor mortis setting in. Ah! Um. <laughs> How is he holding his head up? That's you're terrible. I know. I'm sorry, but oh my god, that's so upsetting. Three years. Also, how sad. But oh my god. Planning yeah. the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. This music's great, by the way. And then he died, forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. But he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. But he didn't get to say bye to his children. The literal weight he's been carrying on his shoulders. I know, figuratively Do and physically. Don't to the original script. Your new dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent. And their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo. Yeah. And body. What a way to announce the death of part of your father. Are you supposed to cheer? <laughs> like what? All right. I know, I want to be sad, but I know, right? <laughs> I assumed that he was dead. Oh, well, I guess I only assumed to the last minute. Because when I said, why would I not believe that he was asleep when they said he was asleep? Gosh darn you. All right. By the way, was the is the, was the music good? Y'all, is it good? Can I turn it down a little bit now? Well, Clement was brilliant up there, wasn't she? The part with the second promise was surprising, but between the two of them, I dare say our new Dawn servants will be capable of anything. Future of Tuliolo is bright indeed. We've had enough of your tricks, Daddy Jaja. <laughs> Stop! Or maybe it's just Daddy Jaw now. <laughs> Earlier in Yachtel. Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> Glad y'all like the joke. Oh, good things are happening. Okay, okay. Something bad's gonna happen though, isn't isn't it? Only good things? Okay. I'm skeptical. Oh no, we're good. Changes in the air. Okay, okay. Good, That's good, good. good. Because of our little firebrand. Firebrand. <laughs> Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left. Why does it sound so sad? 
Because he's dying? Oh, <gasps> something bad's happening. Something bad. The music. It stopped. Oh. Somebody's stalking him. Oh no. Oh no! What? Who killed him? Assassination! Oh no. Somebody with a sword. The way it cuts to the jazzy music there. <laughs> I know, right? Assassination. Time to figure out who's the murderer. Even ever greater, ever brighter. <laughs> really was kind of funny. <laughs> well, Glomat has truly come into her own, has she not? Indeed, even as she moved the people with her heartfelt words, she retained her characteristic spontaneity, as evidenced by her nomination of Kona as fellow dawn servant. Spontaneity? Maybe he just got hit by a swift falling rock. Okay. Copium. Um, hi Sam. What's up? As sudden as it was, I would like to believe she gave it all due consideration. She could do far worse. Kona completed every feat except the last, and that he only forfeited to help Wilklamet secure victory. Yeah, so he deserves it as well. I look forward to... Wait, I called that! Oh, I said all three of them were, were gonna rule. It's only two of them. <laughs> because of the two heads. That makes sense. I look forward to seeing how Toliola will prosper under their care. And there she blows. Everyone, thank you for coming. I could see you all perfectly from up there. That was an impressive speech, Dawn Servant. I told you, no titles. Besides, after everything we've been through together, you're nothing less than family. So like my family does, I'd like to call... I'd like you to call me Lamati. Aww. That's sweet. I'll try to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> they know what they're doing. I'd be my honor, Lamati. Thank you. It means a lot to me. It would also be my honor to call you Lamati. Mine as well. Indeed, consider us your Aorzean cousins, if such a notion appeals to you. Cousins, Aorzean cousins. It's a little embarrassing, but not in a bad way. There's still lots I'd like to say, but I need to make my rounds first. I want to thank my supporters who are visiting for the occasion. Could you wait for me here? Of course, we'll keep ourselves entertained. That said, would you join me? Wonderful. Come and meet me outside the winged walk then. Why only me and not everyone? Especially like Aaron Bell and... I don't know. Just me. That's fine. She's gonna ask me to my face to be part of her administration, right? Because you're BFFs, I suppose. Ready, let's go. Our first stop is Auntie's Tacos. And not just for a snack, I promise. Okay. Wokuvu and Mavlu should be there. How cute. Oh, cute. Taco time! Wait, where do I go? Is there any things to note just to the taco place? To the taco place. Oh, and it's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. 
Oh my god, Taco Tuesday! Perfect day to go to Aunt T's tacos. I'm going the long way. <laughs> Fuck. She's gonna yeet you and see how far she can throw a Lollafell. I'd like to see her try. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Big fat tacos. Big fat tacos. Taco Tato Throwing Tuesday. <laughs> Sick. Ooh, what sandwich did you get? Hi, Zelgan! You saw me in game? Hi. <laughs> I remember a big jerk stepped on your tacos before. Is that the first time trying them? That was our first time trying them. And we couldn't even eat them. I know, it was so rude. Meow. Meow. Cut you off. Meow. <laughs> Wait, this is fun. <laughs> Wee. <clears throat> I feel like every day is Taco Tuesday for the new Dawn Servant. Oh, wait, this way. Etty's Tacos. There they are. Don Servant, welcome Matt. Words cannot well express the profound joy your ascension has brought me. No need for formalities. I'm still the same old me. Alright then, I shall forgo formalities. Ah, but I cannot! You're a Don Servant! Too disrespectful! It is to address you without your due title. As Don Servant, I'm ordering you to not bother with formalities. Oh, all right then. I won't bother anymore. <laughs> I could more easily converse with a drunken alpaca. A drunken alpaca. Thank you for helping Welcome Matt become Dawn Servant. Political opinions in our community may have been divided, but a Dawn Servant's ascension presents us all with a prime opportunity, which is why I convince everyone to participate in a commemorative sales campaign. A wonderful plan. No, my first big undertaking as a merchant. I do like the sound of a sale, so long as I'm not persuaded to buy too much. <laughs> it's so good to see all you again. I want to personally thank each of you for your help. The feet of reeds and the feet of gold were my first true test as a claimant. If not for your guidance, I would have failed the right of succession before I fully understood its importance. Now that you've given me a taste for celebrating culture, I can't wait to see what else Tuliola has to offer. And Zoktoral, for instance. As always, you must observe proper etiquette. I would be happy to offer my service as a tutor, should you desire them. I can think of no better instructor. I'll be sure to bring Kona as well. Your duties as Dawn Servant will be plen plentiful, but don't forget your promise to attend Ihihana next season. Of course, I wouldn't miss it. When I've made a name for myself as a merchant, I'll come by the palace and tell you all about my biggest sales. I look forward to it. I have been personally attending to your alpaca's care. Dare we hope to see you at the ranch again? Tell my fluffy spit-filled friend that Wakumat will visit soon. Anyway, you'll have to excuse us. Oh, you haven't seen... Fon John Tain around here, have you? A tall, slim fellow with long, pointy ears. I saw a man matching that description by the weapons dealer in Bayside Bevy. In the company of a Moblin and a pair of Yaqui, if I remember correctly. Bayside Bevy, got it. This guy is the funniest character of the expansion, just flips a switch. I know, right? <laughs> Enjoy the festivities, everyone, and the tacos. We still haven't eaten our taco. How many other Final Fantasy games? 
have I played? I played the original seven, the remake, and Rebirth. I'm counting those as two other games. I've played Final Fantasy X and 10 2. I've played a little bit of Final Fantasy XII, never finished it. I played Final Fantasy XIII pre stream. I never streamed it. It was like a long time ago that I played Final Fantasy XIII. Um, I. I played Final Fantasy 15 and 16. So, those are the ones I've played quite a bit. Hold on. Alright, so we need to go find Fonjontain. I keep wanting to call him Fountain for some reason. Maybe it's the Fawn part. Fonjontain. Where? Oh, behind us. He's so tall! Fountain man. <laughs> Look. Le er, Don's over it! Miss, you honor us with your presence. Thank you for coming, everyone. I know the journey to Tuliolo isn't a short one. Long road worth the travel to congratulate new Don servants. To hear the head of reason has passed brings me sorrow, but we, we who remember him will ensure he lives on. May the uh, accolades of his day be as offerings to the future he envisioned. Oh, of this day. Cute. The High Luminary and I attend on behalf of Warlord's Echo. Had our people come en masse, we would have been an obstruction. <laughs> Nonsense! You're always welcome, all of you. This is your city as much as anyone's. I'm glad to see you hail and whole. Miss, though I know little of the particulars, I can only imagine your latest adventure has been both long and colorful. Beginning with new ship, with n beginning with near shipwreck, if you'll remember. Yet here we stand, celebrating the ascension of your claimant. When my journey began, I thought only of preserving the peace that my father worked so hard to create. But the feet of pots, the feet of proof, and the feet of ice showed me that peace is not simply the absence of war. Being able to live together in safety and happiness, that was what my father envisioned for this nation. That's the Tuliolo I want for, for you all. So I promise you this, as Dawn Servant, I will do everything I can to bring that same happiness to the bandits and Koza Mauka and the Yakui and Shirwagur. Saltern. I won't forsake them. As I was moved by your father's influence, so too may the Shirwagur come to accept your peace. Their beliefs have stood for a millennium. While not easily shifted, neither are they immutable. Immutable? Hi, man. <laughs> well, I can be pretty determined. They'll come around eventually. Mark my words. I can vouch for the efficacy of such determination. Thanks to the Moblin's hospi hospitality, I have been able to rediscover the joy of my craft and honor my father's legacy. Now that good living is secure, the village overflows with free with field smiles. Such cooperation between help hands and pop sworn is the very spirit of a healthy pop pack. A partnership like yours is bound to be fruitful. I look forward to seeing the fantastic pieces you produce. There are some other people I'd like to see, so we should take our leave. Let's try and find Hunmu Ryok. Hunmu Ryok. The Gibraltar? I believe I saw him on the sands below. <laughs> I struggle with that title the most. The Gleam Sands. Thank you. Enjoy your time in the city. Remember, this will always be your home, too. Where's my tacos? Where's my tacos? How are you liking Dawn Trail so far? It's so good. I love how the story is 
how it's playing out. It kind of makes it feel longer. Cause like, you know how, they always do this. So like there's so many things that happen in the expansion. We're only at level 95, right? We're only like halfway there. And there's still so much that's gonna happen. Cause like we, the first part was getting her to be Dawn Servant. So now it's kind of like, well, what now? City of Gold. But there's a whole other area I haven't seen yet. <gasps> Exciting! But it makes it feel like an even longer journey when they, cause they could have just like ended it, right? At like her being Dawn Servant, but they're not. I don't think they'd ever do that, but yeah. We are only level 95. I know, I know, that sounds crazy, right? <laughs> but every expansion you go up 10 levels and it's not that much. In fact, I'm actually level 100. But I did, I was grinding off stream. I was doing fake grinds and stuff. Um, but it's okay. It's always like, whoa, I thought this would be the end, but we're only in the middle. I know, right? Oh, we found him. Only in the middle. It is kind of crazy though to think that we're level 95. We're level 95. That's in, that's nuts. We're level 100. What the heck? My my, you honor us with a personal visit, Dawn Servant. Congratulations upon your ascension. No, 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 none of that. My title may have changed, but I'm still just Wuklamat. More than just, I'd say. You have grown into a leader fit for this nation. Your father must be proud. I hope so, but big events like this make me wonder, you know, what my birth parents might say if they knew. Wait. Oh, so she really didn't believe... She really didn't believe all of that that happened? She didn't believe a cool Jaja? Popo, thank you for the 120 months. Hello. <laughs> I really liked it all the way through myself. I'm just waiting for the raid now and leveling a second job. Ooh, what are you going to do when you are raiding? What's your like main going to be? Oh, you think she's just playing stupid? Maybe. Oh, the music is so cute. Let me turn it up. We have to set the mood. I imagine they would say that it fills their hearts with joy to see the strong, compassionate woman you've become. Stop! Stop! Okay, shoot, shoot, okay, shoot, so yeah, okay, so she did know. She's not dumb. I owe you my thanks as well for filling your promise to me. Stop! That's so sweet, though! I told Pakul Jaja to stay with us so we could all congratulate you in person. But he marched off muttering something about not being able to face you just yet. The boy needs purpose. Purpose beyond catering to the demands of others. He was always too obliging for his own good. I'm sure he'll find it in his own time. Especially if he knows his family is there for him. That we are. By the by, have you seen Ketimram anywhere? Or er, Tonkwa, that is? Ketimram, was it? A strong name, if a bit exotic. We called upon him before leaving Mamuk, but he wasn't at home. I don't recall seeing him at the ceremony either. The first promise was notably absent as well, though I assume he required time to solve his injured pride. Yeah, that is weird. We haven't seen him in a while. Everyone thought he'd be the one to succeed, Papa. My victory must have come as a shock to him. As for Tangwa, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Or ready to appear when we least expect him. <laughs> uh, we'd best be going, but relax, enjoy, and make yourselves at home. And come and visit us anytime. Alright, I think I found everyone I could find. Let's return to the others and winged walk. The winged walk. Um... I wonder how this is 
gonna play out. Where? Winged? Oh, up here. Okay. Thanks, the bone. Alright. The winged walk. Any ideas? Me? Hmm. Clearly somebody wants to take the city of gold for themselves, maybe? And they saw Keteram as a way to block it. Or maybe he knows something that could help them to make them not get to the city of gold. I don't really understand why him, but, but, but they faked his death. And he changed his name, so it makes me think that maybe he was always, somebody was always after him. Cause like, why else? You know? Definitely tell a who? <laughs> have I tried controller on Final Fantasy XIV before? I have not, I've always played with mouse and keyboard. Um, I don't think I would enjoy playing this game on controller just because I'm so used to keyboard and mouse. Oh, the Lala fell from a realm reborn? <laughs> what? Okay, welcome back. I hope you didn't rush on our account. Anyways, that's just a random idea. I have no, no idea what else could possibly be it. Seen everyone you wanted to see? I think. I'll speak my mind when I, I think have. of something. Sorry for keeping you off. Now, there's just one last matter. What Kona spoke to you about. Um, and uh, yeah, oops. Actually, I'm gonna click. I'm sure he made it abundantly clear, but I'm completely serious. I want you to stay in Tulishola with me. Um, I'm not forcing you, of course, but should you wish it, you always have a place here. Ah, that's right. This is for you. A permit granting passage to Shatural, which, as I recall, you get to see. There you go. An adventurer like you could hardly resist, no? <sighs> I can't believe our journey is over already. Where's our umbrella? You accepted me as a comrade and stood with me to the end. You have my eternal gratitude. Thank you. Well, I had better get going. I need to start learning all my official Dawn Servant duties. I'll be sure to share what my old man says about the Golden City too, once he tells me. Till then, Feel free to pass the time as you like. Chop, chop! They already killed your buddy! Or, well, not her buddy, but her dad's buddy. So, maybe he's next. For now, I will remain in Turash. He only has one head. To see before returning to Charlian. Someone. His mentor, maybe? What about the rest of you? Alize and I also intend to remain a while longer. As educational as this experience has been thus far, we feel there are even more lessons to be had for Garlemort. By hearing about the peace your father facilitated, and then seeing you reforge relations with Mamuk, we were reminded of a profound truth. That is, acceptance begins with understanding. 
And like you demonstrated throughout the right, there are unexpected yet effective ways for two sides to understand each other. This is not very The question is how to encourage it. And by seeing more of this nation born of unity, we hope to find some hints. Personally, I can hardly wait to learn more about the City of Gold. So, if I may, I'd like to stay in Tuli Yolal as well. By all means, your rooms are at your disposal for as long as you need them. And what of you? Thinking of touring Shaktural, perhaps? Yeah! That's the plan! Heck yeah, I want to see it! More areas! You're hardly the type to leave half a continent unexplored. For real. Then perhaps we could travel together? Yeah. The person I intend to meet is my mentor. I was right. So I'll be visiting my hometown <gasps> in Shaktural. Hometown? If you have no particular destination in mind, I'd be happy to guide you on route. Yes. Yeah. Then it's farewell for now. Take care, all of you. When you're ready, come and meet me at the Shaktural Skygate. New area! But we caught him looking at us. That's cute. We're friends to the end, you hear me? Friends to the end! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Friends in the end. <laughs> oh my god. I don't understand how people play on a uh, controller. Um there's a lot of people that do, so it must be uh, easy to. Yeah, I just don't know how people do it. I guess macros. I don't know how I'd be able to do it. Is there not a way you can play on keyboard and mouse upskill? You have to play on controller? Alright, time to go to the sky bridge. <laughs> Gunshots? <laughs> what? You would think Kona would kill her? I don't understand how people can play with PC controls, honestly. Really? But that's how MMOs are normally, well, historically have been played, right? I'd always feel it's the different, different. I don't, I don't remember playing a long time ago on a controller for an MMO. Nothing against it, obviously. Like, you do whatever makes you most comfortable playing a game. But I'm just too stuck in my ways to try something different. Especially when it comes to just like movement and stuff, you know. Right, same blissful. I hate mouse and keyboard controls. That's the main reason I've never been a fan of PC gaming. Interesting. Well I'm glad I'm glad the controller support is there for you guys. Um, wait, this is item level 666, so it's better. I'm going to put it on. Kind of better. Playing MMO with a controller, I've always preferred PC. Yeah. 
I'm happy though for for those. Oh, it's Zelgen. Is that you, Zelgen? You sent me a whisper. I just saw it. Cursed item level. It really is kind of cursed. <laughs> Something bad's gonna happen. I know it. Past these gates and over the bridge lies Doctoral. You have your permit, yes? Packed and ready? No last minute stops to make before we leave? Uh, forgive me, I'm afraid traveling with our new Dawn Servant may have scarred me for life. Oh my god. I got the Dawn Trail orchestration rule? Oh wait, no. I think it's after this. Oh, it's after this cutscene. Okay. Meanwhile, in the depths of the sky deep cenote. Oh! <gasps> Wait, it's back up? The seal? Or was this before? <gasps> it's the first promise! Wait, do you think this was his intention all along? Is to just get to the city? Like he... Well, I don't know. This is odd. But maybe his intention all along was to do this. But wait, how did he get the last keystone? Wait, how? Do you think he's the one who killed Kenton Ram? Maybe he was like, I didn't want to be Dawn Turn after all. I want to be the ruler of City of Gold. But why would he hurt Kenton Ram? Maybe because he was a he was a spy. This is the gate to the Golden City. Oh, freaking Zarelja. Two decades ago, your father bade me transcribe a letter to a scholar across the salt. Oh, I couldn't read that fast enough. Why? What he discovered was something the Dawn Servant feared enough to seal away forever. Or so we thought until the right's objective became the city of gold. Wait, what was the last thing he said? Darn it. I'm reading this out loud, guys. I We didn't see anybody hit the dude. We just saw slashy marks. Or slashy things. We didn't see who actually hurt Kitten Ram. <clears throat> this cutscene should have been voice acted 100%. I feel like they did a lot less voice acting in this expansion. You think so? Chat the chat log? Okay, I'll have to check it after. Hit enter if you miss a text, it shows up in your text box. Wait, if I hit enter right now, my this won't go away? What he discovered was something the Dawn Servant feared enough to seal away forever. So we thought and we thought until the rights objective became the city of gold. Or so we thought. Where? Is it supposed to be in general chat? Oh, I see it. Oh wait, no, I don't see it. Um, where? Maybe I don't have it. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Yeah, I guess I don't have it set up. Darn it! I couldn't. I couldn't hit the settings button. It says I can't do it. Oh well. I'll. I'll enable it next time. But to think that Tankwa would be entrusted with its safekeeping. Had I known that doddering old fool carried a set of keystones, we might have spared ourselves those tiresome feats. Great power sleeps here, and with it, you shall obtain your birthright. So you say, yet the new Dawn Servants succeeded where I could not. Taking their throne will be no easy task. <gasps> he wants to take over the throne? 
The resilient son underestimates his own potential. There is no need for worry. Oh boy. The chalice. What is that? I have liberated the key from the Dawn Servant's vault. Yet you alone have the means to unlock the gate. What? This is a key? They stole it. You will gain all you were denied. The right your father's shade. Uh, these bitter memories shall soon be forgotten. Dang. Seize your future promise. Open the game. Become the ruler you were destined to be. Dang. Imagine if the first promise had, like, us on his side. He wouldn't be so... I don't know. Easily... Tricked. Ooh. It's working! Dang it, I was hoping we were gonna... ...be the first ones. Is some... there? Can... hear me? Two decades ago, your father bade me transcribe a letter to a scholar across the salt, petitioning the study of this place. So his... So... Galul Jaja sent him... Sent him to send a letter to B Galuf? At last! Who's there? Show yourself! If only I could. Alas, this gate will not open for me. Only the key in your possession can connect us. Then you are the guardian of the city's great power? I do not claim this power is great, but the knowledge I possess is enough to realize any desire to remake worlds. To remake worlds? Is that so? Oh no, the evil smile. Ha 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 ha! Ah ha ha ha! Fascinating. Name your price then, for my desire is the world itself. Dang. Who is he talking to? Yes, yes, the resilient sun rises. Together we shall create a nation worthy of our rule. So they stole Ketaran- Oh! <gasps> Promise, why? Whoa, what? Oh, dang. Gosh, dang. The useless tool is cast aside. Wow. Deliver me a new world, one that bends to my will. Whoa! As you wish, but in exchange... Exchange what? Alright, does evil man be an evil? Um, well, Surreal Job really had his own plan, right? So that's probably why he killed him. He's like, this guy is gonna backstab me the moment that I get any ounce of power. Backstabbers. Okay, so what do I do to add the green text for next time? Didn't like that guy anyways. I didn't either. But also, why would Galul tell Surreal to send the leather letter? Like, didn't he have, like, better people? Maybe not, I don't know. Open your chat. Uh, click on the gear. Yeah, that's what I did. This is what this is. <laughs> Back to swing dancing. Scroll down, general. Um, oh, NPC dialogue, maybe? There we go. Alright, I got it now. I don't know why that wasn't automatically checked. Is 
That macro list would work for a mouse keyboard as well. What macro? I already have some macros. Swiftcast, Wait, Resurrect. Bro, you don't think I already have that? That's what this is right here. I have twice. I, uh, la I probably don't need it twice, but I have it twice. I had it twice because back in the day I would lag so bad so sometimes my swift cast wouldn't go off properly though sometimes it still doesn't go off properly um but yeah I have it twice <laughs> I have my macro which not only revives and revives the new swift cast but it also makes a sound to let people know that I'm reviving but yeah sometimes it doesn't work or maybe it will work, but I just, I did something wrong. <gasps> the long road to Zoctoral. Ready to get underway? Then present your travel pass to the guard and let us be off. You won't have to wait long to enjoy sightseeing. The bridge to Zoctoral is a wonder in its own right. Oh, I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing, see the green. I see it now. Da -na, da -na -na. All right. Um, one second. All right, let's see. Does that mean we have a new area to discover? <laughs> yeah. This gate is barred to all save those with express permission from one of the Dawn servants. That's me. Signed by Val Wook. Oh, so signed by Val Wok Lamat herself. My apologies, miss, if you would wait here just a moment. Open the gates. Yeah! I was wrong about solution nine. <laughs> At least I think I am. I thought solution nine was gonna be the city of gold. It's something else. I wonder who he spoke to. But I'm really happy he got rid of Surreal. That guy was annoying. <gasps> Look at the bridge! Yes, we shall! New continent. New continent. The southern, southern, southern or northern? Are, are we north, north or south? I think north. Cause this is supposed to be like, so that's supposed to be like South America, right? Kind of. And this is North America. Gloomy. Texas. What? Oh my god. On the far side of that great bridge unfolded the wilds of Shalom, where the sun guides in the Shetona tongue. This is exactly how Texas is like. <laughs> what? A harsh guide, to be sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. What sweeping change has Oil rigs. Oil. When, beneath its red crust, Vast deposits of ceruleum were discovered. Oil! Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurtled on. Vau. Driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. Blue flame. It is here that our journey continues. Our path taking us along wending roads of steel. Each length of track a declaration of hope and ambition. I hate that this is my first weather experience. Shalona, Shaloni. I hate that it's like my home, foggy and windy and Shalom. gross. Buttholes. Okay. It will be a long journey, but the railroad should make it easier. Railroad. 
<laughs> Unlucky weather. I know. It's As okay. Way to the train station. Let's write these fellows, shall we? We all have that one of those experience one one of these times. I mean, I guess you could always look ahead. I don't know. Are those buffalo? Hey. <laughs> I'm by, I'm by my people, y'all. Is it time to speak Southern? Oh. Oh. Wait, what was that? Are you giving me that now? Is that a cowboy hat now? Oh my god. Is it really? Oh my god. I need a whole Western outfit. Oh my god. Howdy, partner. Alright, hold on. Do I have anything that would make this look better? <laughs> <laughs> Stop saluting me. Stop it. Wait, why? Okay, well. Howdy, partner. I'm the sheriff in town. So is that where that the, the double cheeked up cactar are? I thought they were I thought they were in the Palu Palu area, but I never saw them. That's they're in this area. Good to know. I can revert back to I can revert to my natural accent. Okay. <laughs> Yay! I have a new area, guys. New area. New area. New area. Ugh. Four out of six. The what? What do you mean the what? You know what? All right, Anvil. Should I talk southern? Since I'm the warrior of light. Short on Ronique. Afraid so. If one will suffice, I have a creature ready and waiting. I could probably do it. I can make all these people sound so southern if I wanted to. But if you need to, then you'll have to wait. What? Wait. The Romic have been acting strangely of late, more easily spooked and otherwise disagreeable. Picking out the few fit for Renton's proven bothersome work. Oh my god, that's 100% a southern accent. How he like shortens his words. I feel like I'm, I, it's like cringy if I actually try to change my accent though. <laughs> Don't worry, my happy ceremony was pouring rain. Oh. <laughs> no. I wish they would make at least the first, like, introductory cutscenes not be affected on weather. Because <sighs> it, like, totally dampers the mood. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. They're usually so docile, and the ones I saw earlier didn't appear to be unhealthy either, but much has changed since last I was here. Let's go feed them a good hearty meal. Not the best part to start our journey. Let's walk. Still, the train station isn't far. Seeing as we aren't in a hurry, let's go on foot. Perfect. <gasps> America. About that, sir. As well traveled as you look. It, as you, as well traveled as you look, it's not only the Ronik that have uh, been giving us trouble, other wildlife has shown signs of aggression too. A merchant should be returning soon with one of our beasts. <laughs> Stick around until they do and I'll see you both on Ronik, as, Ronik for a safer trip. All right. You are, your offer is most appreciated, but I don't think my friend here is particularly concerned about the wildlife. That's true, partner. But the Ronik, Aaron Bell, the Ronik! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Let's do this one. <laughs> like, what? Oh. Oh, I was like, the music's. Haha, if this is your first time in Shaloni, I can understand your enthusiasm. It'd be a shame not to ride one at least once while you're here. But the Ronik. A fair point. If you're given, if we're to give you the authentic Shaloni experience, I suppose it's worth the wait. 
Right, change of plans. There's a small town nearby. We can pass the time there while waiting. Take it, you're heading to... What? <laughs> Dang it, we're not heading to Dallas. <laughs> like, come on, what? <laughs> it's a rough read in here. <laughs> Husatawi, Husatawi. Then I'll have a man bring the Ronik over there. Darn it! Just mind yourself around the drunkards and troublemakers, eh? Don't worry. Don't worry about me, Houston. <laughs> Houston. <laughs> uh. Oh my God! What are these things called again? Hiking photo. Ah, cactus. Cacti, as they say. Windmill? Oh, <gasps> aether current! My first aether current. Woo! All right, I'm gonna go to Aaronville after I get this. Wind vane? I think wind vane. That makes more sense. Wind vane? I need to get my cowboy boots. I don't have cowboy boots, but if I did, I'd be putting my cowboy boots on. Cowboy boots? Darn it! Can I change my... Can I change my thing now? Darn you! I want to change my outfit to fit this region. Is there any other outfit I could put on that would f be more f fitting? There probably is. I have to look at my glamour. Last time I was here, it was a little more than a camp with a shop or three. Looks like it's improved. Improved. The Wild West. Oh my god, look at it. Well, well. It's become a proper town. <laughs> Wind vane. It's <laughs> stop. Hey. hey. Oh shoot! Got it. We got a guy wielding a gun. Oh, and another guy wielding a gun. Did y'all see? Oh. Oh my god, the hair. Hot-headed youth. Did you see the, the signs? <laughs> Some sort of trouble. Oh my god. Uh-oh. I'm talking to you, you old bastard. Well, language. <sighs> Give me strength. Ooh, I like his earrings. For the last time, the what in the 90s, Kendall? <laughs> There's no refuting the evidence. Investigation is closed. Is he a detective? I don't give a shit about your evidence, you lying scum. You release my friends, or I'll make you wish you had. My immersion's broken. <sighs> Let me remind you who the scum is here. This is an American accent? I guess so. They need southern accents. <laughs> okay, Buster. Who had the Busta. temerity to point their firearms at me, the deputy chief of the Dust Watch. Deputy chief of the Dust Watch. And after taking them into custody, what should we discover? But incontrovertible proof that they had committed larceny. <gasps> larceny. They will not be released until they've paid for their crimes. <laughs> I'd heard the peacekeeping force had been formed to deal with growing lawlessness. Seems the situation is bad indeed. Oh my god. Still can't get up a fuss, eh? Sounds like poor Zekua needs his bottle. That's more like it, sir. Tipsy man. Sure he wouldn't prefer his mama's teeth. Dang! Treat me like a child, will you? My friends haven't done anything wrong, damn it! They've been framed! 
He does have baby smooth skin. <laughs> no mustache. Oh, little runt. Oh no. Uh, listen here, Zekoa. If Zekoa. you want to be treated like an adult, then you'd best comport yourself like one. That means respecting the rule of law. Interesting. Order may be precarious here in Shaloni, but it can be had if each man does the right thing. And for those that don't, well, they have to answer to the dust watch. Now run along and think before you cast aspersions next time. Lest you hurt my feelings. He kind of does have Yakuza energy. That's how it's gonna be. Ooh. Like a mob. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no. Put it down, I sir. Put it down. If I were you. <gasps> Astinian! Of course you'd be here. Astinian! <laughs> yes! Yeah! It's a time to fight and a time to withdraw. Mm. I was wondering. That's now. <sighs> yeah. What? Hey. <laughs> oh. What are you doing, Zekawa? You better not be stirring up trouble. Hey, did we? Is this the same guy we saw at the uh, ceremony? Is that the same guy? That guy and the other one. I have... Wuhute, you sack of Ronex shit. This ain't over. Do you hear me? Wuhutwe twe? Wait, wuhutwe? Wuhutwe? Who? Hoot hoot? Wuhut? Do you want to tell me what that was about? Nothing that need concern you, sir. Zekawa is simply struggling to come to terms with the low character of his friends but for good measure i'll have the men keep an eye on him um okay yes you do that now if you'll excuse me i'll go make my rounds let's go to the saloon chat i need a drink with the stadium i love that he's here i love it Hi, Eli. Magitexas. <laughs> oh, I love Obsidian. This is I my favorite. I to see your faces among the crowd. Same with you, sir. Talk is rife. There's a new dawn servant. Take it you found it, then. The Golden City. Aye. The contest is over. And as I needed to return home to Yasulani, I offered to show our friends some of Shak Tural. Yes, Sulani. What brings you north? Yeah, what brings you here? Nothing in particular. Just seeing what there is to see. Fair. Okay. Fair enough. How very like you. Going wherever the wind blows, eh? <laughs> I love it. Guru Jaja compensated me rather generously for our duel. I'll be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for the foreseeable future. Wow, really? But for now, I shall be moving on. He can pay for the both of us. Oh, by the way, I recommend you try the Saba tender. They may not look it, but surprisingly delicious. What? The Saba tender? Is that the name of the saloon? I know, I like it too. Magitexas. Magitech, Magitexas. Or new Magico. <laughs> so this round is on you, right? Right? He just said he got loaded. He got loaded by Galuja. Oh, they're cactars. I re right. Are we going to try the cactars? Are we eating them? The double caked up ones? We don't serve sabotender here. Yeah, people do eat cactus. Have y'all eaten cactus before? 
Personally, I haven't, but people eat them. And I think they could be really good. Nope. So how do you say the town? Hush. Hussatawi. Hussatawi? Hussatawi? Stop laughing. No sooner do we set out than we run into excitement. At least no one was hurt. This Dutch watch has their work cut out for them. For as long as I can remember, all dis disputes, big or small, were settled by dueling. <gasps> dueling! The people, of course, Asinia would show up here then. The peoples of Shaloni rarely saw eye to eye, and for better or worse, it was the simplest way to settle differences. <laughs> Since most would sooner not risk their lives, though, it encouraged parties to pursue peaceful re resolutions in a roundabout fashion. The Dust Watch was likely established by supporters of Kona, preferring peace be enforced through the formal rule of law. Wait, is this area also under the Dawn Servant? It says established by supporters, so maybe not. Uh, a reasonable stance, all things considered. If things were, or if things ever got out of hand, the lands guard would be forced to step in. What freedom they have now would be lost under Zoralja's authority. Oh, I see. Huh. All of which is to say that, unless a lengthy stay in a jailhouse appears to you, be mindful of how you handle your arms in town. Okay, partner. Let me attune to my little aetherite here. <laughs> mm. Oh, if you're eating dragon fruit, you're eating cactus? Well, then I've eaten cactus. Um, okay. Now I can change. I don't feel like that would fit. <laughs> I don't think I have any kind of country outfit. I don't. Um, hold that thought, chat. Let's go to an inn real quick. Was there an inn here? No, of course not. <laughs> I am pretty small. Yeah, I can use glamours. I need that outfit! I need this. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I need that outfit. How did she get that? I need a cowboy outfit to continue. Ask her. Oh. No, get, get, out, get out of the way. How can we examine... Saloon server's dress vest. I need that. And the pantalones. Expeditioner's pantalwa. Can y'all, can you help me find this? What do I search? Expeditioner's. And then I already have the hat, unless there's another hat. So, salon server's, salon server's. Interesting. Okay, hold on. Hold that thought. Let me see what I have first before I go out and buy stuff. Hold on, let me see what I have first. Because there's a top I have. That might work. Expeditioner's boots are good. For glamour. Um, I only have one more. Um, let's see. Where was it? Not that one. Oh. No. Hold on. This one. I think this one's pretty. This one works too. I think. I don't think I have very good pants. I don't have a lot of pant option. <laughs> options. 
Um, okay, I want to get the pants. Oh. That one's too fancy. I like the one that you gave me. What was the one that you gave me? What am I wearing? What is this? Oh. <laughs> um, this is perfect. I'm going to put this in my um, glamour dresser. <laughs> Here, let me go. Let me go buy the pants. I forgot what the top was called already. Darn it. Write this down, Chad. Okay. Um. Are there cowboy boots? There's gotta be cowboy boots. Are there cowboy boots? Was that girl wearing cowboy boots? There it is, salon server vest. This fits, that's really good. That's a, kind of expensive though. <laughs> I'll buy it. I don't care. I have to fit. I have to fit in. Oh, oops. I bought the wrong one. <laughs> Wait. Did I buy the wrong one? Wait, what's the difference? Oh. I did buy the wrong one. <laughs> okay, I'll sell it. I'll sell it later. Uh, pants. Were they this one? No, this one, right? Or this one? No way. Oh my god. Interesting. What were they called? Uh, Anemos? This is a hat. Oh, yeah. No, that wouldn't work. But the boots. Yes. Yeah. These are perfect. Is there any other good ones? Oh, there's chaps. Oh, my God. I think I need to do this whole, this outfit. But with the top that I bought, I think. Hold on. What does this one look like? Uh, I don't know. I think I like the other one. The whole, this whole set is yeehaw. It is pretty yeehaw. I like, I like these. And I like, I have these. Hmm. No, it has to be these. Perfect, 300. <laughs> Mary Kane Ashley Wild West movie. Oh my god, I haven't seen that in I haven't seen that in so long. Um Did I buy these? No. Click the save out button on the preview so you can see how they look together. Oh, I guess that would have been a good idea. I'll, I'll dye it. <laughs> mm, the top's not looking that great, actually. Should we do the suspenders instead? The problem is I don't like this jacket. I guess it's, but it matches. <laughs> Should I do this one? Me and my sister were obsessed with Mary Kate Nash when we were younger. The Raimi poncho. Uh, 
Uh, wait, which one? The poncho. <gasps> but then it covers most of the outfit. Hmm, that one looks good too, though. Hmm. <laughs> Cash. Here, is there more ponchos? Oops. Oh, it's the same thing. Trouble is some of the other outfits I would like are restricted to gatherers, I know. Oh, Casper is the dyeable one. I use the Riviera doublet for my cowboy cosplay. The Riviera. Oh God. Wait, did I did I spell it wrong? Or are you talking about? Ugh. Which one, Cat? There's so many options you can do. Oh. But, the, well, technically it says all classes. Cashmere is expensive. I think it takes treasure map mats. Oh. Well. I thought I'd like these, but I don't. Um, but I do like the boots and the chaps. Wait, what about the gloves? How do you spell it? <laughs> Any moss? Ah. What do the gloves look like? What do y'all think of this outfit? Does this fit my true Texan glory? Or should I do a different top? Obviously, I'm gonna dye it too, if I'm allowed to dye it. That's darn totin' rootin' shootin' cute! Preview different dyes. Oh, I didn't know you can actually preview the dye. What color? <laughs> Should I go with the brown? Oh. What color should we go for it? Maybe like a blue? Um, no. Uh, maybe like... A red? Two red? <laughs> Cowboys blue. <laughs> it's a cute top, but diet. Oh, is there another area to dye it? Or is, oh yeah, there's just one. I don't know what color. What about like a marigold? What does this? Oh, it changes the hat. Oh. I'd want to go for like a darker. Or a white? Mm, no. Oh. Thoughts? Hold on. 
Thoughts? <laughs> a light denim blue for the shirt. But then they kind of, then it bleeds too much in the shorts. Maybe like a, how about a dark blue? How about the color on the shoes? <laughs> so I think the original color. Uh, it's more orange. No. They don't have the color. Unless... No, it's... <laughs> not original. I was thinking this color, like a burnt orange looking color. Pink boots lab. Should we go girly? I'm actually curious what this would look like, but the problem is it's not, it's not all, you know, find new boots. What other cowboy boots are there? These don't match. No way. Are there any other cowboy boots? You know some? Peacemaker? Uh... How do I... Peace lover? Ah! Oh! Oh my god. Okay, definitely want to do the chaff. Interesting. <gasps> oh, wait! I like this! I don't know about these though. What does the hat look like? No. No. But cute. What do y'all think about this? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Toad skin book? Who toad skin? Uh kinda. Hold on, let me let me dye this to see what it looks like. Dyed. Well, it made it gray. Tan, I like, I, the thing is I cannot possibly know all the items in this game, so this is quite helpful. <laughs> oh, it doesn't, it doesn't want to find it. To be boots. It's like we're dressing up again for Halloween. Um, I think I still like these boots because they have the spurs. Oh, it'd be in my armoire? I like the browns. Mm. I think this looks kind of cute. 
I still don't know if I prefer the suspenders or this top. I already have these. Country, not the honky tonk. <laughs> oh my god. A thumbnail? Okay. <gasps> Wait, I like this. I think I like this. We're gonna do this. Now, how do I make this a reality? What colors do I need? I have the hat, have the shirt, got the pants, got the shoes. I don't have the gloves. I like these gloves, the Peace Lover gloves. Perfect. Cheap. Um, what dye is that? Chocolate brown dye. I don't think I have any of these colors. I don't know. <laughs> Chocolate brown dye. 99! <laughs> What? I need one! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why do they do that? We can buy elsewhere? Okay, okay. Alright, so chocolate brown dye. Uh... What color is this? Blood red dye. I'm still in on the top, but I, I think it's good for now. Yeah, I think, I think it fits with the theme. And it's pretty close to this color. Um, so blood red, chocolate, and chocolate. So I need two chocolates and a blood red. All right, let me go uh, put this on. Hold on. Don't buy it from market board. Where do you buy, excuse me, where do you buy dyes? Buy in Limza. Oh, should I go to Limza first then? Okay. Wait, this is this is fun dressing my character up for this area. <laughs> Yay! All right. Um Who? Hawker's Alley. Gotta love Limza. All right, um... Who? Diamonger? Not here, right? I, I didn't, am I going past him? No, I think it's further down. Chocolate brown! I need to get, I need to get a good screenshot of me in the country. Welcome to Texas. Here it is. Alright. Okay, one blood red. And then two chocolate brown. Perfect. Is there a hat tip emote? I don't know, is there? Then you don't ever overpay for something for a fixed NPC price. Uh, oh, hover over the diet if it says NPC price. Oh, sell. So, uh, do you mean like on the market board? Oh, wait, there's an in here. Ah. <laughs> oh, well. Mm. 
If it has a price next to NPC price, okay. Good to know, good to know. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, no, no. Put it in here, right? Oh, oh wait. I did. Where is it? Oh, here. Kind of hard to see. And then the suspenders. And then these. And then those. <laughs> and then... Here. Perfect. Perfect! Okay, and then now I dye them. The gloves have two? There's not a hat tip emote? <gasps> Darn it. Um, blood red. There. And then... Dye. Chocolate brown. And chocolate brown. Nice! Save. Yes. Alright, ready for yeehaw action? Yeehaw! Yeah, yeehaw! That is not how a, how a cowboy poses. How do I change my pose? See pose? That looks right. Hound it, partner. Okay, let me go to the area and get a better screenshot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> is there a better? Is there a better pose? Is there a better pose? I think this one's pretty good. I need a gun now, though. Darn it! I have a book. Ugh. Okay, let me go. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Out it, Fana. I don't know what pose to do. What pose should I do? Where? How do I see my poses again? Uh, social emotes. What's a very country thing to do? Clapping. <laughs> no. Um, bowing? Like, not really. <sighs> Spoken like a true Texan. Um... <gasps> Wait! I need to... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, the wink. Winking. No. Alright, I need to also have a minion to match. So, I need a cactus. What minion? What's a good minion? We have the cactar. I think that one's pretty... That one fits. Is there another one that would fit better? I think that one's probably the best one. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Come on, pal. <laughs> oh, lean? Wait, lean? Like lean on a cactus? 
Wait, lean. Can I just type it? I don't, do I have lean? Make sure you only ride a horse here. Uh, <laughs> does a chocobo count? Wait, do I have any western looking mounts? Maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, everybody in Texas have cars. Yeah. Yeah, this is a real Texan experience. <laughs> um. Oh, wait. I do have a horse. What am I saying? Oh my god, what am I saying? I forgot there's ponies. Oh my god, yeah! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> I totally forgot about these mounts. Oh no. Wait, should I do the Titan one or should I do Nightmare? Um, or should I do Kieran? No. Too majestic. A black stallion. Now we fit in. I think I'm gonna do the brown one. All right, there we go. Yeehaw, cowboys! Wait, get a better screenshot. Perfect. Wait, I need I need cactus. Where's cactus? Okay. There we go. There's your thumbnail, Zang. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Yeah! Yeehaw! Also, I do love the music. Did the horses fly? Well, they would, but I don't, I have to unlock it. Oh my god. Effin, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop! Stop! No, Todd! <laughs> Freedom, America. All right, we got the America side and we got the Yeehaw Wild West side. Wee! All right, this is cool. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, look at the saloon. Oh my God, I freaking love this. This is made for me and everybody else, but me too. Um, oh my God, I freaking love this. I love it. <laughs> All right, Aaronville. <laughs> I should like to think the stable man has arrived with the Ronik by now. Ronik? I'll go on ahead to check. If you still want to take a look around, then be my guest. Come and find us when you're when you've had your fill. I was about to give him a southern accent. That is not how it goes. Wait, I can actually go in? Oh, I can go win! Ah! Who are these people? The wanted posters. Whoa, look at it. How do I walk? I forgot my, there we go. All right, bub, give me, I'm down here. I'm down here. Give me a whiskey. Hello? <laughs> Just a little, where's the stools? <laughs> Give her an apple juice. Ooh, what are they eating? Mmm, that's some good eating. Oh god, not your butt. Here we go, oh god. And some drumsticks. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Wait, this is cool. It's a pink, pink bottle. What's that? That looks good. What is that? Oh, is that the Sabo Tinder thingy that he was talking about? The drink? Ooh, it looks like dragon fruit. Um, how do we get it? 
Is it like an item that you buy for f with fate or gem buy color gemstones? Oh look! Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Um, which one is this dance again? I think it's no, not this one. No, not this one. Which one? Step dance. There it is. Nice. We're we're almost on beat. <laughs> Wait, this is so fun just to mess around in. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get it on time. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it's hard. <clears throat> I made a friend. Alright. What else? Merchants of Tuliolo, but the Palu Palu tell it different. Wait, what do they say differently? Why is there a fish? Ooh, can I go? Oh, I can go out here. Oh wait, that mount would make sense too. I forgot, I have that mount too. But it, a horse. Whee! Is there any other houses I can go into? Is there any Lalafell only houses? Like Palu Palu area? I'm looking at everybody's outfit. <laughs> this this looks like a real place in Texas. Like that still exists. That you can rent out. <gasps> the jail sale! Sell. <laughs> Are these the people that that guy was talking about? Oh. Ah, I'm doing my time. Oh my god, the leg kicking is not, not it. Wait, how do you get the alpaca mount? This is basically Fort Worth. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> Where do you buy at the jail sale? <laughs> <laughs> Sabatenders? How do I buy a Sabatender? Why is that not a thing? Where is the merch? Oh, here. Um, not quite. There's the mender. Does my stuff need to be mended? Why not? Independent merchant. Oh. Hmm. Oh. These pants look kind of cool. Do those fit more than... M no, I think mine fit better. Definitely with the shorts. Imagine a pants, pants in the Texas heat. Only if you don't want to get a sunburn. What is all of this? Uh, accessories. Oh. Oh, that's the outfit I got earlier. Oh, this is, okay, right. Okay. Alright, just curious. Gemstone Trader. Wait, what? Tumble claw weeds? <laughs> Some chili peppers. Makes sense. Um, okay. They're very different, yes. All right, let's go. Let's continue the story. I love I love this area though. <gasps> there they are. 
You have to grind fates. That you do. I've already done two areas so far. I was working on Yachtel last night. I think I'll probably continue working on Yachtel tonight. Um, and then yeah, now I have this area to do. <laughs> the friend I take it, sorry to have kept you both waiting. Unruly wildlife's not the only source of recent distress, I'm afraid. Also been a rise of in robberies targeting merchants. As a result, we've got a lengthy list of folks wanting to use our Ronique. Which is why I have to ask that you stop at Shabba Shabba. Shishi, shi, 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 Oh, that's not so bad. Shishi ni wizi. Spring. Shini wee wee. <laughs> Bless you. That's fine, of course. But why haven't the Dust Watch dealt with this banditry? Kamaka and his fellows are doing what they can, but they reckon the bandits are operating on it as a gang. Round them. Rounding them up all. Round them on little rounding them up, rounding them all up. It's easier said than done. Oh my god! If you have anything of value, you'll want to take care. Thank you for the warning. We'll be sure to stay vigilant. Right then, if you're ready to set off, I'll see you on your way. This music is such a vibe. First time I saw a buffalo in real life. Um, who can't recount the, the time that you've seen a buffalo, Max? Maz. <laughs> I'm just playing around with you. As they aren't native to Louisiana, I saw one in college. What? I was the only one I've ever... It was the only one I've ever seen as a history student. I thought they were extinct or severely endangered. I must have give, gave that little guy six buckets of corn. Aww. I can't remember when I saw Buffalo. Probably when I was younger. Definitely not anytime soon. This area is where the Capybara boss fate can spawn. <gasps> yes! I can get that too then. Ready? Then saddle up. Your friend seems to know the way, so I won't bother giving you directions. <gasps> Wee! It's like the alpaca where we were. Oh, it's my. It's like a baby, Ronique. This is your first time, so let's take it slow. Take care not to let it toss you. Oh, I need to have this up, darn it. I continue to be struck by how much Shalonius change. <laughs> Whee! That town we just visited wasn't even here several years ago. With few reliable opportunities to replenish water supplies, travelers turn to Nopoa, Nope, Nopa Litenders? Not just for water in their stems mind, their fruits are also said to be both nutritious and delicious. Oh, blue bombs. Oh, see that hole there? Some might hope to find water there, but it's brimming with cerulean. The eruption of flames from within make for a spectacle, inspiring cautionary tales of people who wandered too close. The Wallachy, meanwhile, show great reverence to Cerulean and its blue flames. The Wallachy? But this is a discussion for another time. We're here. Is it kind of like the, the Cherokee? A good thing for the... Oh, a good thing for these Ronik. Ah, are we going to see Native Americans? Is that going to be like the vibe? You saw a few up in Dakota. They're trying to rebuild the population. That's good. Oh my god, my outfit fits this area so perfectly. <laughs> no sooner did we dismount than the next passengers are already on their way. They really are short on Ronique. Now then, another area. This is Shishini Wizi Springs, perhaps the busiest town here in Shaloni. People try here. People travel here from all over, hoping to find their fortune. <gasps> fortune. The change come. The change come to Husatawi was surprising enough, but this is no less impressive. They've achieved a great deal in the three years I've been away. 
The station is on the eastern side of town, but there should be still be time before the next train departs. Oh my god, I forgot. We're going on a train. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to pay a visit to an old friend of my mentor. Yati is her name, and if she learned that I passed through without saying a word, she'd never let me hear the end of it. She set out for our village some 10 years ago, hoping to earn coin as she traveled around, or traveled about to Raw. I can but assume she too came here seeking a great, seeking greater opportunities. Hmm. In any case, let us see if we can find her. Her blue hair should make her easy to spot. Blue hair, blue hair. A blue hair. Ooh. Gotta tune first, about second. Whoa, we're already like half across the map. Well, this area is kind of. Well, it looks smaller. Maybe it's just because I don't have everything unlocked yet. All right. Cool. What do we got here? Can we go in here? Whoa. We can go in here. It's like a library. Whee! Shatona! <gasps> Cute! Oh my god, she's so cute. Hmm, yes, I'm Yate. Yati? And who might you be? She is my friend. Could it be? Goodness, it is! Ellen Erinvel, yes. <laughs> uh, a man grown. You were such a darling little chi little thing as a child. You know, it's only been three years since last we spoke. Growth spurt. Really? Only three? I suppose it's all. It all starts to get hazy after a while. Living as long as we do. Oh. Yeah, her little neckerchief is cute. Well, this is Iyati. She's known my mentor since they were children. Nice to meet you. Never thought I'd see the day when you travel with company. You really have grown. El... El... El Elnish... Yeah. She does not. She refused to say Aaronville. Elena, what now? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's annoyed. All right, all right. I was born Elena. I need to hear them say that. No way. I adopted a new name when I became a gleaner, one that adheres to Eastern Vera Convention, so as to avoid drawing attention. Given that this is a homecoming, it was only a matter of time before you found out. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you would continue using my chosen name. Okay. A homecoming? You know, I've been thinking of paying the old stomping grounds a visit myself. It would be good to see Kakuya again? See ya? She's the finest archer I know. Aaronville's mother and mentor. Oh, mother? Wait, mother? 
Every time I dropped by, she'd treat us to a verbal feast prepared with fresh game she hunted herself. <gasps> it's his mom. You're impressive with the bow too, even among the Shatona. Oh, I couldn't compare to her, but her skill at arm pales in comparison to her knowledge of nature. That's what earned her a place among Gulu Jaja's traveling companions, after all. Wow. So that was his mom. She was always the inquisitive sort, but her journey across Tural lit a fire in her. Even after he was born, she often left him in my care so that she would embark she could embark on another expedition in search of the unknown. Oh. Interesting. Hi Jess. Oh, how you would cry and beg her to take you along. It must have been hard on you. You have to say, please. What? We're all friends here, aren't we? No matter how many times he asked, the answer was always the same. You can come when you prove you're a true explorer. Aww. That's kind of sad. Thus did she task me with finding the Golden City. Despite my best efforts, all paths led nowhere. I assumed it was but a dreamer's fancy, a ploy to goad me into experiencing the wider world. But it was real, and we found it. You found it? As part of the rite of succession, I assumed everyone had heard. That's amazing. Oh, she'll be thrilled. And eager to bombard me with questions, no doubt. Welcome back, Evan. Well, we should be on our way. Speaking of tacos, we never got to eat our tacos during that cutscene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Help! I need help! What's that about? We'll investigate. Please wait here. Who's in trouble? Ooh, what's going on? Who are these people? Band of ruffians? Oh, it's that guy again. No doubt these are the infamous local bandits. <gasps> They're harming an older lady? Oh, it's Namika. Wait, Namika. Wait, we don't know this lady, do we? No. Please, you have to help. I've been robbed. Oh, it is Namika. Okay, yeah, I do know. <laughs> Wakumat's nursemaid. What is she doing here? Erinvel, miss. Come any closer, we'll slit her throat from ear to ear. <gasps> what? What is she doing here? If so, if you so much as nick her skin, you won't live to regret it. Oh, yeah? Oh, this this is different hairstyle than the other guy. Never mind. Hold on. Did he say this is Wakumat's nursemaid? Maybe this ain't such a good idea. Take, a, take the goods to the boss. We'll deal with this. Please, you have to give it back. Oh, she runs after her. <laughs> I'm going after Namika. This lot I leave to you. My pleasure. Do the do the thing. No? Okay. Cocky person, I'll hang him by the ears and feed the old woman to the dogs. After my dead body. We can deal with him later. First we need to pull this one in the dirt. <laughs> Time to book slap them. Saddled up. <laughs> Look, I freaking love that it. it's called saddled up. All right. Wee. Oh, 
Do I have to stay in the circle if there's an AoE? Ugh, we're dead if the boss finds out. You're dead no matter what. Alright, let's go search for Namika. Wait. Yeehaw! I know I keep saying her name wrong. <laughs> Ugh, story of my life pronouncing everybody's names in this game. Oh, we found Amika! There's a chocobo. You can walk as soon as the mobs are spawned. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. The bandit managed to get away, but I have an idea of where they're headed. You said they stole something from you? A bracelet. It was a party gift from Wook Lamat. I see. Close as you two were, I can only imagine how much it meant to you. But what brings you all this way? With the rite of succession ended and Wook Lamat crowned the next dawn servant, she is ready to stand on her own. I told her as much in my plans to return home to Ish ya Yasulani. Uh, she gave me the bracelet that I might always remember our time together. Oh, And to the moment she gets here, it gets stolen. <laughs> what? It filled me with such joy. I wanted everyone to know, everyone to see this wonderful gift given to me by the vow of resolved, and now it's gone. Oh, so she bragged. I'm guessing. I would have let them take every coin to my name if only they had left me that bracelet. I would ask what you intend to do, but I know that look. We're getting that bracelet back. Please, you mustn't put yourself in harm's way for my sake. I can assure you no harm will come to us. Miss will make certain of that. I understand your methods can be brutal, but it would be wise to show some restraint. Lest you find yourself on the wrong side of the law, perhaps I should come as well. To so be sure, all proceeds as it should. I don't know what to say. I can see why Wuklamat put so much faith, faith in you both. Before anything else, let's see her back to Shishinewazi <laughs> Springs. She'll be safer in town and with Iati there to keep on keep an eye on her. We should have nothing to worry about. Thank you, both of you. Um Where do we go? Whoa, what's, oh, is it a hunt train? No, no, that's people leaving the fate, okay. Yay, how? This music, oh, well not this music, but the music fits so well. But it reminds me of Something else, but I can't put my finger on it. I need to keep listening to it. <laughs> Wait, really, Zing? Oh, is it because of the hurricane? Aaronville told me it what happened and you needn't worry about namika if those bandits should find us i'll kick up a fuss and see see them driven off that bracelet meant everything to her and those guys wouldn't care even if they knew makes me sick but at least she's safe and i know you'll set things right all right Ooh, look at this 
creamy hot chocolate, wild banana blend, tender shortcake, fruit and aloe jelly. What are these desserts? Yum. What the heck? <laughs> it sounds really good, actually. All right, let's go and recover that bracelet. While I have nothing but contempt for these bandits, as this involves a gift from Wuklamat, we must be mindful how our actions might reflect upon her. I doubt Namika would find joy in the return of said gift if lives were taken in the pro process. If it comes to violence, I ask that you stop short of killing them. The rest we can leave to the dust watch. Well now, that makes me think you're strong. Really strong. Are you? I may have saved the star on one occasion. <laughs> you know. You saved the star? That's a bold claim to make. But if true, that certainly speaks to your strength. Where were these people? Did they not notice the sky and the... No? They're just living blissfully unaware to what happened in, in Walker? <laughs> what? If your curiosity has been sated, then please indulge mine. Is there anything you can tell us about these bandits? Let's see. Well, of late, there's been talk about some unsavory types coming and going from Tona... Uh, Tona Tenyawi to the southwest. Is that the old mining town that was abandoned? That's the one. Now that cerulean extraction is big business, no one want. Uh, did I hear something? I swear I heard. I heard an alert. I think it was my Kofi alert. Whoever did that, thank you. <laughs> one second. No one wants to waste their time picking at the dried up veins there. Sounds like a perfect layer for bandits. Not to mention that the one with the bracelet fled in that direction. You did it! Thanks, Supreme! <laughs> so you'll be investigating the place. I can let the dust watch know if you like. It's so funny. Like, I'll still hear the sound, even though I don't have it up. So it confuses me sometimes. <laughs> Who did that? Thank you! <laughs> No, not yet. It would be best if we went alone. There's something I'd like to ascertain, if you've no objections. Right then, let's be off. Let's be off. Nobody will find the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> no! <gasps> Motorcycle! That would be cool. But I still think my horses. You wanna race? Wanna race? Wanna race? Wanna race? Wanna race? You'll probably win. Um. Okay, let's, let's go this way. Bike is faster. 100%. Unless... I do fates in the area, and then I can get faster land speed. Maybe. <laughs> Darn it. Where? Oh. What is this area? Bandit village? It looked lame when it was slow. Oh, is that why? <laughs> it seems the bandits have claimed this place for themselves. Oh, it is the bandit lair. The bandit hideout. There we go. Look at the moon. There they are. Woof, woof, woof. Can you hear the dog? It's been wolf barking for a while now. Woof, woof. <laughs> it's my neighbor's dog, I guess. They've made no attempt to conceal their presence. How can the Dust Watch not have noticed by now? Right? 
A question for another time. First, we must find the bracelet. Oh, <gasps> they're in on it. Corruption. I don't see the bandit who had it. Perhaps they're in one of the buildings. Ramshackle as they are, it should prove a simple thing to eavesdrop on anyone inside. If you would go and have a look about, I'll keep wa I'll keep watch for trouble. I have to be stealthy. All right, bandits, who wants a piece of me? That is not southern. Who wants a piece of me? Daybreakers, axe slinger, gunslinger. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way. All right, destination. The bandits will not notice you here. You can safely eavesdrop on any inside. Okay. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Wombat. As you lean in to listen, you begin to pick out voices and the muffled chatter. To know where we'd be without them, probably shoveling sand, praying we'd strike it rich. Ain't that the truth? Only an idiot would work the mines with easier money to be had. Not when we've got a boss who can keep the dust wash off our backs. Huh. <laughs> well, hey, watch, watch what you say. The wind's got a way of carrying secrets to the wrong ears. Oh, <gasps> my ears. Maybe so, but who'd ever believe one of them sainted souls was running our crew? That drunk who bought your story about the gold pooping alpaca? Am I right? Ha 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 Gold pooping alpaca. Interesting. Alright, what next? Where do we need to eavesdrop? No aether current! Where? We just go right in front of the house. Wait, I want to go get that aether current real quick. Just real quick. Oh, I'm just so short. Here we go. Oh, no. The bandits will not notice you here. Okay. Daybreaker sounds far too cool for simple bandits. Daybreaker sounds so positive. I don't know. We're like dawn breakers. <laughs> Let me out of here. Shut your mouth, you sniveling little brat. Make me! I'll get you all back for framing my friends! Oh, the vulture most of all. You tell him he can't eat poop! He can eat poop! <laughs> how about we give you the chance to tell him yourself? We'll see how tough you are then. Ooh. So it was that... So, it re the, so he really was framed. <gasps> His friends really were framed. Aaronville, what are you doing? I can see you. The bandits will not. Oh, right. I keep reading that. Poor Pupper needs some attention. I know, right? It's probably like, Mom, it's hot. Let me inside. I just saw what you said. I was slightly concerned. I brought back a prize you're gonna love, boss. Have a look at this bracelet. Beautiful, ain't it? Bet it was made by a famous artisan. You idiot! How are we supposed to move something like this without attracting attention? Boss, please! Please! I, I'm sorry! Ugh. <sighs> Reckon we can find a sailor who won't ask questions and sell it for a song. Here, your reward, and don't bring me this kind of grief again. I, I won't, boss. Thank you. It's 
finished, are you? Let's retreat for now. Let's go. Is the number of words on stream statistics? What? Uh, so were you able to learn anything? Their leader is a man of the dust watch? That would explain why these bandits have been able to do as they please. And you say they gave the bracelet to him? It seems we have our work cut out for us. Did you hear anything else of note? Zekoa? That's the boy who confronted one of the officers in town, isn't it? And you say they threatened to take him to speak with the vulture. Their leader's alias, no doubt. Fitting for a man who preys on the helpless. Well then, not only do we have a better idea of who's behind the recent rash of robberies in Huhusahatawiwi, but we also know we he has the bracelet. Retrieving it without bloodshed will prove difficult, though, if he's that quick to point a gun at his own underlings. <laughs> I'll storm their hideout. I can take them. <laughs> that direct that direct approach may have served you well in the past, but it won't suffice here. Wuhu Ti is uh, the deputy chief of the Dust Watch. He could claim we're the criminals in all of this, and no few people would believe him. Or, or would believe him. Anyway, hmm, I might have a plan. There's a small settlement to the southeast of here. <laughs> Man, pretty small settlement with a big name. <laughs> what? Lu Lua Tin Tininyawaosa. Lua Tininyawaosa. <laughs> what the heck are these names? What the heck, Yoshi P? Why? Why are they so long? Wu wu tinnya wasa. Okay. Meet me there. I'll explain everything. I just need to hear it. I just need to hear it and then it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Small settlement with a big name. This is how you say it. Now today we had a big contrast in temperature across the UK, just 12 degrees over coastal parts of eastern England with cloudy skies, but in the sunshine in northwest Wales at RAF Mona, just up the road from Llanbiad Pushwing at Gorgeda Quindrobos, Llanticilio Gorgorgor, the temperature got to 20. Just up the road from Clan by the Push Wing, it's Gorgeda Quindrobos, Clan to Silio Go Go Go. The temperature. You said that perfectly, I think. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Wow, I thought, I thought this was bad. That, okay, I'm good. Woo! This is funny. <laughs> wow, he must have gotten famous for that. Or maybe it's just normal, but it was good. Uh, anyways, alright. I need to go chat. It's been a lot of fun, but I think this is I think this is a good stopping part. Um, for, uh, for today's stream, but this was fun. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Thank you for joining me on my Final Fantasy XIV journey for today.